Hello, happy Wednesday. Hi, Truk. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I completely forgot to say. Uh, I finally reached enough followers to potentially trigger affiliate, uh, which was my previous goal. Uh, and I'm now realizing that the overlay popping up right now is not the correct one. But let me fix that up in a moment. But one second actually, because I haven't unlocked Affiliate yet, but I have unlocked one of the achievements you can get uh, that lets you unlock VP. And so, true, I'm adding you as a little VP for the channel, which means you can post links now uh, without getting blocked by the auto mod. But Affiliate, that is a couple of things. Uh, one, one of my most excited things is you unlock channel points uh, when you reach affiliate, which allows for you to put up those little like things you can redeem, like hi like hydrate or make a funny sound happen or have a little pop up happen, or like you can highlight your message by spending a hundred channel points or whatever. That's something that you unlock when you are accepted for the affiliate program. You also get to unlock subscribers for your channel, which essentially allows for you to give a little bit of money to the streamer. And you get things like emotes, uh, no ads, because uh, ads will run on affiliate channels, which is part of how some money comes in. Uh, I think there's another thing, but I'm spacing on it. It's, it's a couple things that you get. But it's just a fun little milestone that I'm excited about. And I'm definitely in the range to reach affiliate soon. It just, at this time, it's going to depend on how, how, sorry, I'm burping. Uh, how many people regularly come to the channel. Because the only thing I have left to achieve is to get uh, three viewers on average per stream over the course of 30 days uh which i currently have like it's like 2.78 it's so close i just need a couple a couple good even just in theory if today i have a good amount of viewers today that in theory could put me over the top so on theory thursday i could potentially be able to get accepted into the affiliate program uh but one second uh, this chat overlay is incorrect, so let me update that real quick. Oh, my light's turned on. Aw. Uh, let's see here. That's wrong. Is this it? This is it. Okay. That means my other screens are probably also going to have it correct. But, so my old goal was to reach 51 followers, which you can see down below. And we reached that just recently. And I'm actually going to shout out someone. I think this should work. Uh, right. Out. Did that do a damn thing? I don't know if that did anything. Uh, while I poke real quick online to see how to actually make the, the, this thing work, I uh, want to shout out another channel, Actual Deer Ooze. Uh, they are a, they, they do various things, but for the most part, their streams are themselves and some of their friends. They do things like, they play Minecraft, uh, they play various tabletop RPG games, they play Phasmophobia, wonderful, wonderful bean. I was able to jump into a couple streams of theirs recently. They just yesterday had their one year anniversary stream, which went, I think, 13 or 14 hours long. But I have to give a massive shout out and thank you to them. I jumped into their stream on, I believe it was Sunday, and they gave me just like the absolute, like, sweetest reception. A lot of them from the stream ended up following me, uh, and over the weekend, I went from around 40 followers to 51 followers. 
in lar largely in part uh, to actual deer ooze and their little group. They're so sweet. Uh, and if you are able to jump into any of their streams, ask them about gardens. I basically got to sit in on like a four hour dissertation of them and their friends just talking about this uh, game they are playing and the world building of it. And it's this very cool Alice in Wonderland-esque, but like political espionage game. It sounds incredibly cool and I, I cannot say enough kind things. Uh, about them and their friends. They are so incredibly sweet. But back to the follower goal and our new goal. So the old follower goal was in order to reach that that follower limit to qualify you for affiliate. It's technically 50 followers, but there's something weird with my Twitch. Some follower of mine from probably like a year or so ago just isn't counting in Twitch's system. So even though you see 51 followers, and that's what I see, when I look in the, like, the achievement page, it's only counting 50 right now. So that's why the follower goal is a little weird. But the current goal is I want to do a Pokemon Smasher Pass stream. And that goal is going to be for once I'm accepted into the affiliate program, which in theory could be very soon. But when we reach that goal, I'm going to try and host a stream of doing the Pokemon Smasher Pass, the whole Markiplier thing, with a group of friends and call to be like a little peanut gallery. And I'm very excited about that. I think I can reach it very soon as long as things go well uh, in the next couple weeks. Uh, but I'm very excited. Uh, but I don't have much else to go through. Let me double check. I think I did a shout out in other channels. Let me do one more trick, one, one more test, because I don't think that the shout out thing is working, and I want to double check if it is Twitch, how to shout out, because I think something is supposed to happen. Twitch streamers, type the shout out command with the names, select the channel afterwards, they give me a little shout out. Okay, I think I might just be doing it wrong, shout out, I am doing it wrong, that's it. Actual deer who's Yay! Please follow actual deer. Super sweet, super chill. Uh, a very cool person and their their little posse. Uh, they're also a PNG tuber uh, as well. Uh, they use a different program than I do, uh, which they sent me a link to it, but I haven't had time to investigate it yet. I've been very busy these past couple days I've been updating some of my overlays and I'm a bit pre-gaming but I'm assuming I'll hit affiliate soon uh thanks for giving them the follow Truk. uh but I've been pre-gaming a little bit and I have made some emotes for in theory when the affiliate happens uh I'm very excited about that so that's something i've been working on the past couple of days uh and i'll i'll be keeping those i won't be debuting those until i can show them on the stream as a little bit of a fun surprise uh but they're very cute uh let's see i'm gonna get this game up and going give me the play button let's see here A bit of a tangent as I'm waiting for this game to load. For those of you who cook, do y'all ever have it where you're just not sure what you want to make for dinner, but you know you just want to use certain ingredients? So you just you just cut stuff up? Uh, oh, that sounds very loud on my end. Looks very loud in the thing as well. Let me throw that down a little bit. But, like, do you ever just, just cut up stuff knowing that I'm going to use these in some arrangement and hopefully I'll know what to do? This is so loud. I need to turn this down. <laughs> so loud in my end. Uh, yes, Sonic. I was under the impression this game was, like, a two-hour thing. But then I've been seeing people posting VODs that are around, like, three, four hours. So I don't know if we'll finish it today, but 
I'm not opposed to playing a little bit longer. Uh, are we seeing it on stream? We are seeing it on stream. Great. Okay. Let me know if anything gets weird with the stream, sound-wise, visual-wise, uh, and I can poke around with it. Uh, so to catch up from last time, for those of you who either were not here uh, or don't remember, we are a brand new employee on the Mirage Express, which is a... It's a train, but it's specifically used for hosting events, is what it seems to be. And they're the current... What's the right... The, the, whoever, whether, whatever the name is for the driver, the conductor. The current conductor, who we work under, it's his last day. He's retiring today. Sweet, sweet dog man with a wife and kids. And Sonic and his friends are on the train today because Amy, for her birthday, is hosting like a, a murder mystery party. And the party has just started and something happened with the train. It either moved too fast or we hit something. And now the train is in a wreck. Ourselves, Tails and Amy got out of a closet, finding Sonic on the ground, looking like he got murdered, which isn't initially concerning because we're doing a murder mystery party. Uh, and we're not finding out that Sonic isn't really pretending to have been gotten, like, killed. He seems to be hurt. Uh, and that's where we are picking up this time. Uh, but right now, we need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. And even if it's part of the game, we can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Okay. I've... I got brain confused for a moment. I was like, who are we? What is the grammar? Let me, move my, let me move my laptop over. I don't even have it all the way on the left on my desk. Ugh. There we go. This will be nicer for my arm. Let's see. What is happening? Oh, dang it. Last time I... <laughs> I was so close to the little title screen. I was two clicks away. But yeah, we are playing the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, and we were just in the dining car, which is where Sonic is. We are now in the saloon car, which does not look okay. Whoa, look at this place. Amy, where are you? Tails, where are you? Uh, so Amy's hosting... Amy claims that her character can't be, like, the murderer and all this, but I'm not 100% certain because I feel like Amy's the kind of character who would say, Oh, I, I clearly can't have been the murderer, but probably is. And then Tails is playing a detective, and I'm pretty certain he can't be the murderer, which Amy said he can't, and I don't think that he's lying. Uh, one's like, I need a cough. <clears> Hua, <throat> phlegm. Delicious. Uh, hey, Tails, where are you? Simma, I'm over here. I love the art style. It's so cute in this game. Oh, it's a little... Uh, a Chow Chow up in the top right. It's like a robotic Chow Chow. Looks evil. I think Amy's already gone ahead. It seems she's really excited. Makes sense. Did you need something for me? Uh, yeah. Just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> he he's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. Oh, Tails. Oh, I don't please don't assume that. That might not be great. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, I promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap on a lot of strange spots. He's fine. I don't know, Tails. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I... That's a, that's a good question, because my assumption is he's actually hurt. Because I don't feel like this game is going to be one that's going to really get dark at all, but... I'm also not too familiar with the Sonic franchise outside of the meme culture, so I really don't know. 
Your assumption is that... What is your assumption, Shrook? When everyone was looking elsewhere... He tried to eat whatever he asked for food at the start. That's actually cracked. That is actually probably what happened. This man most likely got food poisoning because the first thing he did walking on the train was he requested a chili dog and the only heat source we have in this place is a microwave. This man got food poisoning. You are 100% right. God. I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. We need to go back and see if he has chili dog remnants. Is that something that happened to me? So I'm projecting on him somehow. God, I feel like a lot of my friends right now, I keep hearing that people are, are getting food poisoning or eating something that leaves them not feeling okay. And I'm scared that I'm gonna be next. <laughs> I'm very afraid. Uh, can I tag along with you? It's my job to keep an eye on you. I'll ask if I can tag along. I feel like there's no sense in me being weird about it. If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Of course, sure. Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Oh, that's smart, Tails. Actually, one sec. Because we have... We have a map of the train. I don't remember if Sonic was supposed to be in the dining car, but everyone has a location to be at. And I thought I remember Sonic was supposed to be up here with the conductor, because we're at the caboose of the train right now, which is where the dining car is, which is where Sonic is. Knuckles is in the saloon, which is where we just arrived at. Uh, Alligator Man and Matt Mercer are in the library. Rouge and Blaze are, I think this is the arcade. And then Shadow is in the piano room for whatever reason. So Sonic is the only one taking state up here. To be fair, I'm such a catastrophe in the kitchen. My friends are wondering how I haven't poisoned myself yet. I mean, no matter how good of a cook you are, you're going to accidentally poison yourself at some point. It's just, it's part of the creative process. You make something, maybe it's a little bit foul. Maybe you underestimated how expired a food item is. Maybe you try out eating a piece of raw ground beef and hope for the best. And sometimes you get E. coli and sometimes you don't. And that's just how America is with the meat. Uh, it is a cooking cooking's inherently a risk. Uh, but it's a fun one because you get to eat tasty things. Ha, <laughs> fair. That actually reminds me, just before stream, I, I'm experimenting. I blended together cottage cheese raspberry yogurt and raspberries i'm attempting to make like a, a a frozen yogurt cheesecake thing and i'm i'm excited to try it after stream but i hope it goes well uh oh no sema trust me it's bad like full minute of silence and swearing in everyone's native language when i told them of my latest cooking adventure <laughs> i do relate to that i've made some cursed things i one time if you, I don't know if you have this in in France, but there's a thing in America called like hamburger helper, which are these boxes with like pasta and little like powders. And typically, what you do is you you cook ground beef until it's like pretty much cooked all the way, and then you put all of the stuff in the box into the pot with water and milk, and then you cook that for like 30 minutes and it's great. I one time in college ran out of milk didn't realize it and started making one of those and i was like oh i don't have any milk to make this but i do have whipped cream so i use that and then like use a bit more water to try and like have some dairy in it uh and still have some like liquid in it to make it work it tasted fine it didn't taste weird at all the worst part though was that i lived like a five minute walk from a little like like college campus grocer that sold milk <laughs> so i 100 percent could have just walked over gotten milk and gotten back but the thing was though it was raining that day and i didn't want to have to go out in the rain to get the milk when i had whipped cream there that would work the problems of, sh of understanding how to cook is you can do some weird stuff and bend the rules sometimes <laughs> You're gonna make some weird things, and they don't always work. Uh, but it's always it's always good to try again. Also, recipes. Recipes never hurt. 
it is ne never a, a bad thing to pick up a recipe if you're not sure what to do in the kitchen. Uh, as I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. Thanks, Tails. Thanks for calling the sidekick. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, you just know it's because... Uh, w where's my little card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Oh, oh, look at his little face! Oh, he's such a sad little guy! Oh, no! We better not ditch him to join Eggman. That would be mean. Not a proper detective without baggage. He's so tiny. He's so small. He's a little guy. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> you varmints. Hey, it's Knuckles. What's up? Uh, reminds me, I watched Detective Pikachu with a friend for the first time tonight. Pikachu Pokemon are so cute. I still need to watch that. I was chatting with some folks the other day about the movie. And the fact that I haven't seen it, I don't know how. But I need to watch that movie. It looks so funny. What are you doing here in my saloon? Oh, Knuckles. He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles! We're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through here and told me all about it. How did she move so fast? <laughs> Enough of that. I wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what we, you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Okay, Knuckles, you're not good at this game. <laughs> leave, leave me alone. <laughs> Alright, so he did something. He's obviously agitated about something. But why take it out on us? Yeah, <laughs> Tails, your face is accurate tough. I'm like, ooh. I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Sema, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were apart. I'm gonna make a hot guess that that arcade machine maybe is not broken because Knuckles, because of the crash, and I think Knuckles maybe didn't do good at a video game and punched it. That's my, that's my hot take right now, based on what we can see. Let's investigate for clues, and then interrogate. Actually, real quick. I'm gonna, I need to do something real quick on my phone. Apologize for the delay. Apologies, that's the right word for it. Apologies for the delay. What's happening? I'm being added somewhere, but why? Oh. The problem with joining a lot of Discord servers is you just start getting a ton of ads just all over the place. Uh, and you never know where it's coming from. Okay, let's see. Back to my Twitch manager on my phone. Alright, we're investigating for clues. Let's go. Right, let's do it. I mean, all my servers aside from the ads. That's what I do for a lot of them, is I just, at, I just mute them. But then, I've had to leave some servers because they just would at constantly. And I just like, I don't need that in my life. I don't need this today. I need to, I need more sanity in my life, which does not include being added at every single day. Uh, right, let's do it. Alright, so we've got... Clearly, clearly, he he punched this. That's just that's just what has to have happened. Hello! One second. Welcome, Hoon. Welcome! I have a fun, I have a fun thing to, to do. Since I have now um, gotten at least 50 followers, I can grant the... VIP status. Welcome home. I hope you're having a lovely Wednesday. And I hope your d d is going well if it started yet. I don't know if it has, but if it if it has not, I hope your d d was wonderful later. Uh, I, th As far as I'm aware with VIP Hoon, I think all it grants you is the ability to post links in chat without getting like auto-modded bleeped out. And if I have to do like slow mode, you can you can type whatever. Uh, <laughs> Strict saving got canceled again tonight. Ah, I am so sorry. I hope at some point y'all get to play again soon. Uh, you gotta have that magical college adventure. Uh, we've not got not gotten too far in the game. 
Oh, I can say twink now. That actually, you, you, sh I believe you've been able to say that for a while. As soon as you said that on stream and it got muted, I went into auto mod and added like every variation of twink I could find to things you can say. Also milfs, you can say milfs as well, and that you won't get, uh, you won't get horny bonked by the auto mod. Uh, but clearly, Knuckles is hiding something. I'm pretty sure he punched this machine because he's being very agitated. I'm gonna look at this. We got a reward. We got a lot of things going on here. Wait, I saw something. We need to see what all we can do. <laughs> Spittoon free establishment. Uh, I'll do howdy partners because that's that's fun in Southern. Nequistium said even our our paladin can't show up. We're still gonna play, so I'm looking forward. Ooh, excellent, excellent, excellent. I I hope you guys get to play. He also said that apparently Nequis now has a new thing going on since she died since she died again. <laughs> but that I won't know till the party is in mortal peril again. That's not gonna that's that's gonna that's ominous. That's extremely ominous. So I'm I'm in big vibrates, I can imagine. I love when things happen when thing when they're in peril. I've got a character right now who has a little demon friend that pops up every once in a while. And I'm super excited for something to go so so incredibly wrong uh, with Breakin. Uh, I'm so excited for something to go very wrong. I've I've given our my DM Kelly freedom to have just Breakin appear if Kelly deems it appropriate. Uh, so for the most part, I have control over when the demon appears. Uh, but Kelly could just summon Breakin at any point if she wants to. I have full trust that she'll do. She'll she'll not be mean with that in like a non-fun way. Uh, I love when things go wrong in a taste of wheat. I know it's just, ugh, the drama. We love it. It's good. Uh, we're all, we're all angst, we're all angst lovers here. It's fantastic. Can't wait for Breakin to possess Rapture and Anthazon. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think that's gonna, I would be surprised if that occurred. I'm more afraid of, like, Breakin finally saying something concrete, because all she does is speak ominously, and <laughs> she's she walks in, says some cryptic, cryptid shit, and then leaves. <laughs> I, I want a full sentence from this thing at some point. Uh, but back, back to video game, back to video game. Uh, clearly won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. No, we will not. No, we will not, Tails. Weird, what happened to it? Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused by punches. Yeah, that's exactly what I figured was going on. Who could have done that? I don't know. Who could have? Knuckles. <laughs> look at his little face. Oh, he got mad at video game. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two looking at me for? Oh, buddy, it's okay. It's okay if you did bad at the video game. You just have to pay for the damages. Smashed arcade is added to your inventory. We just took it? Excellent. Decent cast reward for fighting this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. The side glance. Tails is adorable. Poor Omo Chow. Hate to see them like this. What'd they do? Medical. <laughs> Medical malpractice? <laughs> Ace attorney looking ass. That is the best thing. <laughs> I love this game. This is great. Interesting. All right, medical mud practice. We're zooming. Breathtaking views. It's some statues. This train passes by some incredible sights. I must have to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. 
I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding on the carts. I personally, I love roller coasters a lot, but my issue with them is that I like it when they go really fast and get like, like rickety. Like I love when you get thrown about in the, the cart, but I get nauseous when I get to that point and I never take the, the melatonin I think is what you take in order to not, or whatever the thing is you take to help minimize nausea, I don't take those. Like, I don't think ahead to do that. So my perfect roller coaster ride is like always on the edge of kind of going to make me ill. But there's no, it's not a fear aspect. It's just like my body's being flung about and it's like, oh man, oh no, I don't want this. Uh, if they're outside, I cry and perish. I like, I like that if they're in full darkness. Oh yeah, those, those ones are fun. It's big. If I can't see it, it doesn't exist logic. That's incredibly fair. I don't have an issue like that, but it, it's it's always a little it's a it's a little dance uh, to figure out what's like the perfect combination for me because I never think ahead to take whatever that like melatonin thing is to minimize uh, the the getting sick. Uh, but hello, Alernia! Guess what? VIP baby, you can post links. As much as you want now, an auto mod is not gonna bonk you. I finally have VIP that I can just throw out at people now. I think I have 10 that I can throw out at any point. Uh, which I'm very excited about. Uh, back to video game. I'll never understand this friend group. Uh, is there anything else in this room that I can- Ah, the trash can! There's always stuff in the trash can. Something's always hidden in the trash, let's check. Sadly, this one is empty as well. There's gonna be a trash can at some point that has to have something in it. I, I have to believe this. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. Hey, Tails, it worked in Pokemon back in the day. Don't you do this to me. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Ha ha ha. Empty trash can? Most suspicious thing ever. I think Tails is ignoring me. Ah, uh, he would. Rude. Are these cashews? Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Did we not put salt on these? Any sort of seasoning? Hmm. Someone... Seems like someone licked all of the salt. No. What? Blah. 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 I'm just thinking of that meme with the frog just being like, Blah. 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 Or maybe they're just unsalted. Why was that your first assumption? Why? Why? Why me in video game? Uh, this hand. I need to befriend this hand. I need it to give me things. The robotic arms here are really helpful. Hi, arm. I don't think it likes me. Uh, what's the arm doing to my hair? Fix it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Ooh, probably did it before. That was the first thought. You know what? You're right. <laughs> You're probably right. Uh-oh. Should I hear my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> How well can it microwave? You're not losing your job. There always needs to be some sort of human element to these things. <gasps> the glasses! Sama, this seems interesting. What is it? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? I don't know, is Knuckles was really thirsty? Knuckles doesn't have lipstick, though. Rouge? Some, uh, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. <laughs> no, he's a coral blue. Uh, someone else must have been here. I mean, everyone walked through this car at some point. We should log this. I would agree. I think we've found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Hey, Knuckles. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Wait, isn't Knuckles red, though? It's like his color, no? It, it's his body color. But I think the implication was more that it's not... <clears throat> it's not the, the color that one would recommend if he was going to wear lipstick. 
I, I like I, I would agree yeah I don't think a bold red like that would be optimal because it would just be the same color as his body uh, I think he'd I think like a, a, a nice light pink would be fun uh, maybe a brown to complement the eyes uh, not a lot of options for him but I don't think that same red would be great he look nice with a, a black lipstick that's true black lipstick is always a fun bold option you have to have a, a, a good like confident personality to really rock a black lips uh i like your hat don't beat me up let's co let's compliment him let's compliment him oh <laughs> he's shy oh look at him <laughs> knuckles are you blushing i said leave me alone oh he's all bashful doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Let's do it to him more. Did you suggest your hat a bit so we could see it better? <laughs> I ship it too. I said leave! Oh, he's mad. Can I take your order? He would like food. This is a this is a man who appreciates a good meal. Hmm. Okay, not hungry. Great. Well, if you ever are, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure, like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Samma, you know, a butler, tell him that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like a butler. Yeah, this is how, this is the mental thought. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it! Alright, let's... No, no, we have to talk to you. Let's just talk. Let's just talk. What now? Oh, we already did this. You yeah, don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? I feel like he would. No, she bruised too easily. Wouldn't be fun. Alright, fair enough. I bruise easily too. Guess it won't be fun either. No, I I'd fight you. Sorry, Sama. I wish you luck. <laughs> Rip game, Sama, indeed. He's not actually going to fight me. Right? Okay, now we're going to interrogate. Knuckles. Sema and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. Oh yeah, because we just, like, sat out of commission for an hour, roughly. No hesitation to fully throw hands with you, dang knuckles. I mean, why not fight the establishment? <gasps> wow! Thank you for the wahs. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. <gasps> is it? We have evidence, too. We do? Sema, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Obviously, it was the video games. The arcade machine? Ha! Makes you think I touched it. Uh, the, the punching. Oh, yeah, we have to think now. Uh, look at all this thinking we're doing. If only Ace Attorney had this as an option. I feel like Sholmes would really... Well... Uh, do... Oh, dang it. Uh, well, you see, we, uh... You have no argument here. You are weak. <gasps> Ouch. So, uh, let's follow that train of thought again, shall we? Alright, let's go. So they're gonna... Carter, that's good to know. Or at least, I just have to not get worse. At least we don't have to do, like, a billion every single time. Because I have enough now. I don't have to really worry about... Did I fall at the very last second? I did. Okay. So we just have to get enough rings and then get to the end. And that's it. <gasps> Thank you for the belief. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly cut the arcade machine because... Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game. The arcade machine is covered in punches. Your hair was found on the scene. It was covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? <laughs> Everyone's just like, Okay, buddy. Why are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine. But why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Ask for one! Just a sudden nerd to punch, huh? 
I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. Tails. How is that the time? <gasps> How will you? I'm on it. Sema, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Oh no, we are gonna fight him. This is not going to be good. <laughs> Think! Oh, it has my name at the top. It's very cute. No, oh, my rings! Oh, that's why there's a lot in the levels. Oh no, we're not doing well. Gamers! No! Ah! Ha! Now Tails, get away from that arcade cabinet. Sema, try again! I have to get Super Monkey Ball fixed. I may have to adjust the difficulty level, because I think there was something that allowed you to adjust the difficulty level. I just don't remember what it was. The problem is, is the angle is just a little bit ass. It's not super intuitive to me who's not s used to doing these kind of platformers. No, 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 no. We can do this. I believe in us. Believe in the me who believes in you. Ah. We just have to not die a billion times. Uh, Is that enough? Oh, we are just barely not enough. Shoot. Alright, so we can finish, but not have enough rings. So that's the risk there. Okay. Got to gamer mode. Okay, we're great. That wasn't the hardest thing in the world, but it's gonna get harder. I know it's going to get harder. That's just how these things are. The arcade machine is fixed! No! Don't look at the scores! <gasps> did someone beat him in, at the video game? Or did he just do really bad? Quick! Look at the scores! It's not going away. I'm pulling it up now. Candy, bagel, ultim, bread, apple, toast, nuck, vec... Uh... Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. Vector. It's Vector! He's supposed to be in the library car! <sighs> the picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. Uh, oh, he's so cute when he's blushing. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Gah! He's punching the air in frustration. That sounds, that sounds like Knuckles. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a commonplace name. Prove to me he was here now. Please don't tell me he licked all of the nuts. Oh no, this is not going well. Okay. Well. You have nothing. Zilch. Nada. Now leave you two. Quick, Sama. Let's try this again. Okay, and... That was even worse than last time. Take a sip of my bevy. Power up. Please don't tell me he licked all of the nuts. Wild sentence I didn't expect tonight. Welcome to Sonic, apparently. I don't know. Vector looks like the kind of guy who would lick all of the nuts and then put them back. I I believe in him to be that kind of person. Okay. I know when they were making this game... Someone who is, like, important on the project did it. I remember reading something on Twitter that was like, This game, like, couldn't have been done without this this individual. I wonder if this game is intended to be difficult, <laughs> or if I'm just not great at video games. It's mostly the angle that's giving me the problems. Now, Sema, what proves Vector was he with Knuckles? Well, the only other thing we have is the cups. No! That was probably it. I thought it was strange that there was more than one cop sitting next to you. Well, you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks, playing arcade. 
Tails, they had like an hour before everything got started. I think they're fine to, you know, use the facilities. It's, I'm, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't, ah, don't, don't tell Amy. I think we're right on the track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the high score. Ugh, that was gross. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest. I didn't want to be caught. Well, maybe you need to get better control of your anger, my buddy. And that's my story. And alibi. I already told him that a bridge version of it was to Amy. Then why didn't you tell us? Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Yeah. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what of the cup with the lipstick mark? <laughs> Vector and I were kissing. <laughs> Ruse was in here too. Oh. Yeah. Again, though, that's not her color. She has a pink lipstick, and that's a red lipstick. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. So he searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game, and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left, then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu- Actually... That's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Ugh, my nose is, like, gross tonight. I do not know why. Ugh. I need to make a hotkey to mute myself. The noises. <gasps> what is it, Tails? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on the high score list that doesn't make sense. Was it Bread? Sima, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? Vector, Nuck, Toast, Apple, Bread, Ultim, Bagel, Candy. Is the ultimate machine here? I saw that, and I just didn't really process it much. Let's see, yeah, Ultim. An odd name on the high score list. What is, what are you talking about? Oh, I can like move this around? Oh, yeah, Ultim. What the hell is that? Oh, Ultimate Machine is Shadow. Duh. I, I for, I brains wired cross for a moment and I thought the robot Sonic was Shadow. So Shadow was, I thought the, uh, the ultimate was the robot Sonic. Ultimate Machine is Shadow, I believe. Uh, actually, Tails, the kid at the end of class who asked questions last second and have everyone be forced to sit five more minutes to hear the teacher answer. You're right. You're very right. He's very cute. But my God, is is he? Uh, he's he's that kid, 100%. All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Ultim? Who is the ultimate Tim? I may not know, Sema, but there is someone here that goes by the title. Oh, the ultimate life form. That's it, not ultimate machine. What am I thinking of the ultimate machine? That's gotta be something, I'm, I imagine. Ah, uh, good old, good old Shadow. There really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. <gasps> so Shadow was here too. He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. Oh, that's fun. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? Tails, you don't you don't run with competitive people much, do you? That's just how this goes. He gave me this before he left. A key. Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone. Then he left. What door? When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. So no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through not long ago, 
did you open the door for her? No. I think she has some sort of key too. Oh yeah, she's got the, the master key. That's right. The conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened to the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? What's Rouge searching for? Well, Shadow... Was Shadow a blacksmith or a, a locksmith? That's not what I'm looking for. Do I have a list of people's roles? No. I think Shadow's role is a, it's either a locksmith or a blacksmith. I'm guessing the game might just like overlay them otherwise. And Rouge was some sort of business mogul. So Shadow, I'm not really super confused about the locking doors aspect. And Rouge, I don't know what she's searching for. I don't know. They didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. Oh, it didn't work. Oh. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. Alright, I can do that. More information than I expected to get here, but it seems we can move on. I think it was a locksmith. Yeah, I think he was a locksmith. It, I, I think if it's a locksmith or a blacksmith, I think him just having keys and doing stuff with keys is not super weird. To, since both of those can kind of overlap, I imagine. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Well, thank you, Knuckles. Give you were knocked out Sonic an earful for me. Detective Tales and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Sema. Let's head to the library. You got it, Tails. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Sema! C coming! Alright, let's get let's skedaddle. Ready to mosey down to the next car? Yep. <laughs> no way, Dagnabbit. You got it, partner. Onward! Let's go. Next car is gonna be Espio and Vector, I believe. Hang in there! Oh, <gasps> Is that the conductor? Oh, buddy! He's got a little painting. This is a huge car! Holy crap! Also, I bet the whole thing with locking doors being a part of the narrative is probably just to paste the help like provide a framework for the way the pacing is because if the doors are always going to be locked the next room over until someone gives you a key then that's a pretty good explanation for why you're not just running to the very end to see whatever the hell is happening anyway all this stuff is getting heavy i'll dump what i don't need Everyone's favorite re journalist reporter, Amy Rose, hot on the scoop. I don't think anyone looks super... Espio is not happy to see her. Vector Vector always looks pleased as a bunch. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. Oh, My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Oh, he's got his little rose. Amy, there you are. Have you found any leads? Want to join us in finding clues? I don't think she cares. I think she just wants to talk about stuff. Do you have any clues? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl. Uh, no, but you already ran ahead. Ah, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. <laughs> yep. The tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you around. Alright, bye I guess. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you, and quick. I I honestly hope he's hurt, because I think that would be really funny if Amy's like, I'll help you out, and I'm not aware that you're actually dying. But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl. The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. What is... What is Amy's plan if everyone has to stay in their specific cars? People aren't going to solve any mysteries if they're not walking around. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. 
I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm... Uh... I'm here to ask if anyone's hungry. I'm just making sure things go well. The top one is the correct answer. The bottom one is the funny answer. So we have to go with the bottom one. Starved. I've killed for a chicken parmesan right now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? <laughs> sh sh sure. Um. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. D D D D. Oh, the little chows. Oh, I love them. They're just little babies. Oh. One second, actually. Uh. He's just the old guys. Yeah, Tails is not impressed. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm, I'm satisfied for now. Thanks. Ah, uh, Espio. Espio's trying his best. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Metaton energy. You're right. This is this is a lot of Metaton energy. Uh, lacking the boots though from what I can see. But Sema and I are here to establish al establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. Okay. So Sonic was at the front at some point, so I wasn't losing my mind about that. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car. Okay. Where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. That's believable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. So yes, that, that tracks. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Okay, and she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, no way, at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Okay, so the current story so far, Vector, Knuckles, Rouge, and Shadow are the only ones who doubled back at all. But no one's talking about... No one's talking about Sonic coming back through. That's surprising. No one's mentioned Sonic at all. I wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. Then into the library car and left the door behind him. So he's going through and locking every door. So the only way at this point that Sonic is going from the front of the train to the dining car is if he got up on top and, like, was either walked over or someone walked him over. Uh, considering Sonic's speed as well, I wouldn't be shocked if he walked over, like, Truk, your earlier theory that he came back and ate a chili dog and got sick. He may have just run back himself and gotten sick. Uh, somehow getting out of the car, out of the train, and back in through a non-locked door. Most importantly, why has Sh Shadow been locking doors? That's probably his role. Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. So I got I got so engrossed by ro the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. So how did you get out of here? I thought he locked the door behind you. Oh, Knuckles had a key or something. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again, locking the door behind him. And returned to the lounge car where he was meant to station. Why do you know this? Uh, when Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car, so we were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it alright. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. With these locked doors, it seems Vector and Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. 
Thank you both for the cooperation. We're just going to peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. You don't have a knife. If you'd like to be serenaded by a poem, I've got you covered. You don't. You really don't, my guy. But thank you for the offer. Thanks, guys. They're hella biceps solid enough, but we should still search for clues. I agree. We need to know what, Bru what Rouge was looking at. What are we looking for is evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio is actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Okay, we've got... Wait, up here. Cola. We've got a book club. Book of the Month. Uh-oh, Gone Gal. That's not great. Uh, let's put this book of the month up here. What else is over here? Okay, over here. Uh, this got tossed. Just one book? What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. It reeks of the evil scientist, Dr. Egg... Why? Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. <laughs> hey, true, you can use this. You can use it for cooking. What kind of recipes? Are they egg ones? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelette? You may not be wrong. That is that is a hilarious concept, posting an autobiography that's like half a recipe book. Let's see. Woo! I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Oh, we're stopping about something. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. It's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius on a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one. The Mirage Express Manual. It's the user's guide to the Mirage Express. The train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Mars Express manual added to your inventory. That is a good point. Why is it just here? Exhaustive manual of the Mirage Express has many features and capabilities. Doesn't seem to mention how to drive the train, which would have been neat. I mean, that's the conductor. It's not really a uh, the hand. Please be my best friend. Oh, the poor thing. That arm is really struggling to clean up this car. Oh, he tails are so small. Oh, buddy. To be fair, I don't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Good. Oh, the globe. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled much around. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. God, I had an a, I had a, a plan this summer. This not summer. This fall, if the whole like plague issue and stuff was maybe a bit better, to do like a UK trip. And that is currently off the off the table right now because of a lot of things. But uh, I really want to do like a UK trip or go back to Europe at some point in the future uh, when when money is a bit better and the world is less uh, dying uh, but back to game ah sounds perfect for a vacation the conductor was talking about Spagonia if you've ever been there I have actually if you're ever visiting be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle he'll tell you everything about the area it makes one scrumptious sandwich I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? Okay, what else is around here? I'm gonna save this for last. There's a door. I'm assuming it's locked. Hang in there. Nothing at the... Nothing in the fireplace is probably as good. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, Hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. Huh? This little chow's hanging there, using to use his wings to fly to safety, but choosing the hard way to off is often the most rewarding. 
I'm craving a sandwich right now. <laughs> sandwich time. That's beautiful. If this chap can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster. No, there wasn't. Right? No, probably not. Uh, always listen to some tunes. I'll talk to them after I look at the brochure. Uh, t is Tails okay? Tails is probably not okay. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. Oh, that makes sense. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. Alright, thanks Rouge. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. Maybe Ruse was looking for the manual, and that's why she put it back. That might be why. The spines are creasing. They're open too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Uh, all right, what was on the brochure? Ooh, brochures. There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Sama, look at this. There's a couple maps here. Oh, that's probably what Rouge was looking for. This seems like to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, too. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Nice. The library map was added to my inventory. Should we take this brochure about a cave, too? Look, there's stalactites. Nah, leave it. Oh, haha. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. <laughs> We love the characterization. All right, let's look at this overhead map. Da, da, da. So this is the fireplace. Here we have a couple tables and some chairs. So there is a weird thing here that looks like it's behind. What am I looking at here? Oh, it's the desk. So there's a desk here. Where I map the layout. So this is. I'm assuming something is either hidden here, or there's going to be a diagram showcased here. But that's what we're seeing here. Let's talk to Espio first to get whatever painful exchange this is going to be over with. Fancy a poem? No. No, thank you. Can I get a poem about space? How about a poem about trains? Yeah, give me some information. Locomotive in motion. I think I've lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh, wait, there's my lotion. Okay, thanks. Actually, we like that one. Huh? Can I take your order? I think it's polite to ask if anyone wants to eat some stuff. I'm not getting it, but I have a poem about this. My starved stomach babbled, though I ignore the grumbly tummy, for the eggs I received are scrambled when I asked for my eggs sunny. Oh, wow. We don't serve any eggs on the train, though. My town is wasted on you lot. Oh, buddy. Okay, let's just chat. No, we're just gonna chat a bit. What'll it be? No! How do I how do I escape this exchange? No! <laughs> how do I get out of here? Uh I guess about space. I'm I I've I've made it up to space with my beloved antique vase, but a mistake in my haste dropped the vase from my embrace, so my antique I must now replace. I want eggs too. Ace Attorney bit of the game I see. Games are just making me crave food. They're talking about games a lot. Food and a lot in this game. Yeah, it's a... I'm making dinner after this. So, uh... Yeah, I'm also, I'm also a little hungry. And I've got a... I've got a little packet of fruit snacks right now, but I'm not... I'm not feeling like eating them at this moment. Uh, especially with all the chatting this game involves. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't breathe too deeply. It's just a poem. Alright, bud. He hasn't thought it through, has he? And we haven't really learned anything, though. I don't really want to inve interrogate him about anything. Did you bring me any meat to chop? Maybe a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. We actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup-stained apron, not a butcher. Maybe you had a knife on you. We'd definitely think you were a murderer. Hmm. <sighs> But what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Let's just, uh... Again, take the order. Yes, please, I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. Then why would you show the menu to me? 
Come on, Sam, I want you to tease him like that. Okay, I thought I could actually get him food. In here, I thought I could trust you. You made a fool of me. Look, Sama, you made him a fool. Come on, Sama, smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move things over, but at what cost? Uh, let's chat. No, I did not, but I can chat with you. We butcher the concept of me clear. Oh, so we already did this. Try to bring this on the train. To the... Uh, so I guess talking is just that thing over. I don't feel like we have enough to investigate. And let cold cuts. No, shoot. Nope, I did not. Never mind. Get me out of here. Is there anything else to poke? The world, the door. I don't think I can move on. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked the door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Maybe we should make a note of it there? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock is added to the inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what's happened. I don't think they're lying, though. I just don't really know what we're gonna interrogate. So, the two of you don't believe us, eh? I mean, I do. I don't know why Tails is doubting him. I'm not quite aware. But let's see. It's not that I don't trust either of you, but it wouldn't be a proper detective without us examining the validity of your alibis. Sam and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. That's a fair point, because we don't necessarily know if he stayed the whole time. We're just believing his word. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence of need... Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Yeah, that, that's tells. I don't know why you, that wasn't the assumption. Yeah. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. Right, they don't have to stay here. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. And that brings our attention to you, SBO. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the whole the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Vector, you weren't here the whole time. You can't collaborate with him. Once Espio started reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. Must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio? Ah, there's a pause. Espio doesn't owe you that detective. Let the man live. No, no, Vector. No, no. I think we've caught him in something. What if it was embarrassing? If it's embarrassing, then he has to tell us now. That's just the rule. What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what that book might be. Oh, were you reading the manual? Sama, can you help me out? Alright, Sama, what book do we think SBO may have been reading? Well, this one was out of place. Maybe he put it back in a quick huff? He paused. I don't know if that was right. A manual? You think SBO was reading instructions? What argument can you possibly have to support this? I don't really know. Oh, we got four now. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why he would, but I don't know. It's all I'm really thinking of right now. What the hell? Oh my god, shuriken. Oh, I'm dead. You're both grasping. I knew it. We got this. Let's do it again. Okay. So even if it's... It'd be good to know even if you're wrong, if you're s Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. I should have enough. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. But yeah, this would be good to see even if you start grasping that str if you're wrong, if you're locked into it anyway. There are books scattered around the floor, sure. The remaining books on the shelves were in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone, at the very least, 
pick up the pick the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. Ah, gotcha, bitch. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, Sbo. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like this. Okay, Sbo and Vector are are are, are fucking. Uh, that's just. Uh, calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Sbo. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. Aww. That isn't- they- they both handle hearts. <laughs> some metaphorically and some- and it's in the midst of a carcass. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, I'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Sema, if you don't mind, they do have an energy. They very much do. Oh. Could you just ask me some question about the manual? Just look to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. A quiz. A quiz us about the manual to prove you read it. Why? <laughs> That's not going to prove anything. You can lie. Also, you can forget. Which page should I quiz him on? Page 14, page 362. Did I get something with numbers on it? I got something with numbers on it at some point, right? Those numbers sound familiar. 14, 14 specifically sounds familiar. I'm gonna do 14. Um, okay. Uh, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. So, I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. Robotic arms can also detect weapons and explosives being brought into the train, ensuring passenger safety. That's good. To make Espio ace that question. Sema, hit him with another one. Uh, okay, which, which page should I choose? Oh, we're just going about. Uh, 231? What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds, and you'll be charged with a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Oh, okay. Gee, the person who made this roll must have been over 65. Last one, Sema. Let's see if Espio can go three for three. Gotcha. Which page should I pick? Uh, I've done deep and I've done early. Let's do mid. What was implemented to support the conductor's duties and ease general train obligations? I'm assuming it's hiring you. An intelligent data processing system that works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. That's good to know about. So we've got some sort of computer going on. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities with the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? Uh, yeah? But I don't know if that's really proving. Totally. It's while you were able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. <laughs> Just called him a nerd. You clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. You both have the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't want to be supporting folks who read. <laughs> Thanks, Vector? You have to admit, though... Reading the entire time a murder occurs does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. I mean, not really. I mean, look at him. Nerd. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no. I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Victor was the only one to see me reading, after all. Malabai is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. <gasps> well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we cut. Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Ooh. An interesting point. Yes, that's correct. Problem? Well, people pass through this car. Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. And we have evidence to back that up. Here's the thing. I believe that Espio believes Vector was the only one who saw him. Because I believe this man probably just wasn't aware when more people passed through the car. But it's good to know that he may not have seen people. Sema? He always puts me on the spot. Okay, Sema, I think. 
We just have a piece of evidence linking to someone who also saw SBO reading. But what? We've got, uh, well, we've got this because Shadow was in here at some point locking him in. Shadow's lock? Please pray. What does that have to do with anything? We're up, Sema. Let's get our argument together. Because he walked through, so he's, in theory, saw Espio reading. Okay. 50? Okay. Yeah. Nope, we don't need that. I think I prefer the shuriken to the little bombs. They're, they're easier to, to deal with. Especially on short notice. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, god, I got... I got killed. Well, we have enough. We just need to not die now. Great. I think I'm getting better at this game. Which is comforting. The little bongs? Little bongs? Oh, like the like the sound. Do you mean the sound effects? Or are there bongs I'm unaware of around here? Uh, Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car. Where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah. But I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score for it wasn't the high score long. Also, there's people in front of you. Crocs are natural gamers. <laughs> oh wow, they're throwing blades now. Yeah, since the previous one they started throwing shuriken, so that's a it's a that's a change. Oh, I thought you said bongs when it tuned back in. <laughs> I, if I did say bongs, I was I think I said bomb. Uh not bongs. Uh, SBO said he saw Shadow enter the library car. But he mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. Ah, good point. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. <laughs> Shame! Can't believe this. Everyone's looking shocked. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Listen, when you get into a good book, the world falls away. Uh, I mean, it, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. Okay, es Espio, your, your alibi's kind of falling apart. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Tails, you don't, you don't know nerds, I guess. Well, I, you see, I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending that argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked up the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, dear Sama, one that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. Aww. I was involved with my book that I didn't notice Shadow pass back to the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. Aww. Vector loves his little friend so much. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, SBO. If you weren't there for Shadow to see... If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? Fair question. I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. I think he's right about there's something up, but I think Espio was here, and I think Sonic. So I think Shadow went somewhere else, because no one is talking about Sonic's movements. Which implies that you have to be able to get around somewhere outside of the main walkways. Was Espio simply reading? Or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? I'm gonna defend Espio, because I don't think Tails is necessarily right. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails. <gasps> we have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Oh, do we? All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What well, piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? 
couldn't have seen one out there. Is there a way to get through here without people seeing? Oh, is this a blockage? Okay, so we have two pieces of evidence. We have this, and we have a lock that supposedly Shadow has been placing on multiple trains. See, that's unlocked though. So did, did Shadow even walk back through here? Um, which shows they couldn't have seen one another. I'll go with the map because I don't know what else this would be used for. Um, all right, so many thoughts in order. I'm not confident on this, but I'm just gonna go with it. I think, I, I don't think Esper did anything. Oh, goodness gracious, what's about to happen? I'm waiting for these walkways to, like, fall away. Safe here. Safe, safe, safe. We don't need to be hit by anything if we don't have to. Yeah, we're free. We're good. <gasps> we had 69 for a beautiful moment. Oh, and I missed it. You made it! Hi, dear! Hello! Welcome to the stream! We are... We're uh, maybe halfway through this game? I have no clue, but welcome, welcome! I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. We are currently trying to defend Espio from accusations from Tails. Uh, who is tapping me? I can never tell if me, my cat is actually poke. She is poking at me. Hello, child. What's up? What's up, kitty? You just gonna stare at me? Yeah? Hi, baby. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, kitty. Uh, the library map. Oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another, a straight path. I give her- Yes, give Mimi little kisses on the nose. Oh, you want- You can hop up on my lap, kitty. Come on. Hey, kitty. You're snorfing? You're sniffing and snorfing? What's up? What's up, honey bun? What's up? There we go. Kitty time. You hanging out? You gonna hang out for the stream, kitty? Hello, hello. I just got back from work, and I've heard a bit about the Sonic visual novel. I'm glad I could catch even a little bit. We are... We're a bit in. It is unclear if Shadow is... Not Shadow. If Sonic is actually dying or not the premise is that this is like a it's a like a murder mystery game they're all playing but some shenanigans seem to be occurring and we're not sure if Sh sonic is actually hurt or not the running theory is that he may have eaten a chili dog and gotten food poisoning uh but right now we're investigating everybody to see what's up and currently it seems like uh vector and espio have like a little gay thing going on unclear uh, but we ship them. That's the current uh, status of the stream. <gasps> Thank you for the follow as well. I hope you are you will enjoy your time here. Uh, but back to video game. See so the exits? They're right across from one another, a straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way for Espio and Shonet. Shonet. <laughs> there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Look, you'll have to point out exactly on the map where you mean. Oh, great. Thank you. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? I know exactly where. He's over here. Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. What's that? A tepid chili dog? <laughs> I don't know if the the fridge facilities on those trains are maybe the best. Uh, I feel like something... There's a lot of stuff going on in the background. Uh, I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. Okay, so he wasn't outside of the train car. He just was behind a wall. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from the spot because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you could have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I feel like I was grasping desperately to tell the truth. 
but I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all of our questions. So that was a- that was an entirely moot point. We did it! Another pair of alibis- of alibis validated. Uh, we love- we love when people are validated. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Mimi is just sitting across the way and she's just staring at me. Tiny child, what is it that you want? The world is your oyster, kitty. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, especially Shadow. Oh, since the door to the next car is open. <laughs> Mimi, parent, I crave violence. She does. She she craves something. If she at some point does her new little trick where she jumps on top of me from behind my chair, you're going to hear a very frightened yell from me. Because uh, she did that a couple days ago while I was in D&D &D and it gave me a big-ass startle. I mistook and thought Victor had his arm around Purple Guy for two seconds. <laughs> Wishful thinking. <laughs> love, love is real. <laughs> They're very cute. Like, this is a very cute little little duo. I, I cannot lie. Uh, Amos have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then our clue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give them heck. If you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose, while doors keep getting locked. Tick, tick, tock goes the clock, while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident that our detective abilities were really doing this. Come on, Simba. Let's see what's next. Coming! Alright, next car. Let's go. Are you sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? No tales. We gotta go. The mystery calls. Okay. The investigation continues. The next car is... I believe this is the arcade. Oh, look at this. Chow. Hell yeah. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We're visiting every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? I see you brought the microwave master with you. Ah, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? <gasps> Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? Alright. I've been hunting for a treasure room to be stored here on the train. Treasure? They're certainly gonna tell me about treasure in the interview. It's some part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles. I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. Oh, tell him tell him what it is, Rouge. <laughs> Blaze looks so tired. I love her. Alright, well. It's a Fabergé Chow egg. Okay, interesting. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. <laughs> a woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday presents already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me into the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train and cards for clues. Blaze in the mood for real. For real. She's she's just, she's the most cool. I do this with the Fabergé kit. Fabergé Chow Egg is here in this train car locked in a safe. Okay, we've narrowed it down, I guess. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? That's a blueprint of the car? I found the train's blueprints in the library car with the safe code written on it. A score of a lifetime. How's the volume, by the way, uh, for the game? I turned it down a bit as we were starting because it looked loud, but let me know if it could be turned up or turned down or anything. Uh, we got some blueprints. The train's blueprints. Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh-uh-uh! Finder's Keeper, sweetheart. 
There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? It's good. Alright, get to here. The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé egg. There is an elevator in a train. That is... that's... that's... Why is an elevator in a train? Uh, behind the security guard leads us right to the room. We're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. Rouge, you're just stealing at this point. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator. And our chance of success grows with anyone's help. Rouge! <laughs> You're asking an employee to help you steal something. This is not gonna go well. And if it is, I should be fired. So, you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chaos Egg. Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? How tall is a train? That's a good question. Train Evader? Ella Train? Who knows? And. I seen it when she was here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Oh no, she's playing too hard into her role. Ah, her lark card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that, or breaking their rules must be refreshing for a princess. That's it's probably both. I, it's like slightly annoying me that somehow their art is tangenting right here, and it's like making my brain weird looking at it because my brain is trying to determine who's in front. Because the lack of the line here kind of makes it look like Blaze is in front. But then the ear here makes it clear that Ruse is in front. Artist Y. Sama, do you have an opinion on this? <laughs> Stealing his first squares. It's time for five finger discount. Let's not get fired on our very first day. Mm, but stealing is fun though. Let's just say stealing is for squares, and then later, if the the narrative warrants it, we can become cooler. I think the only square here is you, Microwave Master. Oh, you're getting nervous, though. I must admit, it wasn't the coolest thing I've ever heard someone say. Listen. Listen. I don't want to get fired. N no! My cool and mysterious reputation! It's crumbling! <laughs> I'm becoming known! <laughs> fired within 24 hours! Speed run! All right, all right, I'm in. Okay, so I got peer pressured into stealing. Good to know. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Summer are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> that's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? The woman has vanished. Oh, she's on her little heated pad. Okay, we're good. Access to the Fabergé Chow Egg is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access key. Do we... Oh, we got us! We got all of us. Which one's me? We've got... We've got Tails, we got Blaze, we got Rouge, and we got me, and we got this Chow. Do we attack the guard, bribe the card, distract the guard? I like the idea of bribing the guard, but I'm hoping it's not me who's doing it, so I'm gonna go with distract the guard, because I think attacking is gonna be the wrong way. Distract them, perfect. Well charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Summer, so <laughs> okay. I've never seen you smile like that. Aww. <laughs> Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face really needs to work. If, if, if distracting doesn't work, we'll go with bribing. Okay. Who's distracting the security guard? Do I get to pick who does it? I love these little drawings of them! They're so cute! Uh, I feel... Who's distracting? Um... I think Tails is gonna be the best distractor, because I feel like he's gonna get maybe too wound up in the whole stealing aspect of it all to really do anything. Let's have him distract. I think he can- I think he can shout enough. <laughs> sure! I can be the distraction. I like the way he said that, Vito. I'm with Blaze. His delivery was shaky. <laughs> no, really! I, I could do it! Oh, he's just a little guy! Let, let him try! Let him try! Come on! 
Oh, sorry, but I think you'll be better off elsewhere. In, in that case, who should we choose? Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Uh, I think... I think Blaze is just gonna be too blase to pull it off. Of course I'll distract them. Who could resist my feminine charms? I'm not sure how effective your charms would be on a chow. Plus, your flight might be might prove useful. I'm not sure you being distraction makes sense. All right, I guess I picked every single wrong choice. Uh, let's sing it over again. All right, I guess Blaze is doing it. I don't know why she would be the one to do it. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. All right, I guess that was it. I just thought she would be too like, I don't know, uncaring about it. I feel like she would just walk and be like, "Hello." I'm done with this. She is a princess, though. That's a good point. Uh, well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Pretend the communist shuck push a bunch of poker chips to the floor, ask the chap with a partner and kids. I don't think this is going to be right, but I would love to learn about the life of the chow. Excellent. People love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guard. Yes! Yes! This is good. Perfect, and then we can move on then. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? I'm the more I'm playing through this game, the more I am realizing that pretty much the right answer in most situations is what's gonna be like the funniest outcome. Uh, but with the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? Fly them and grab up fly grab them and fly up to the rafters, ask for the card, pickpocket. I think just pickpocket. The flying is not gonna be useful. I'll snag the access key, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try to take anything else from them, if you can help it. <laughs> Look at the little art. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Sema, what's your plan? Save the drink without a coaster, push them over, pretend you're... Ooh, yes. Pretend I'm Blaze's spouse. Here's the thing. I don't think Blaze is going to go for that, but the drama of it. Imagine. You need to be marrying into the royal family. What's your... <laughs> That's not what I thought it would probably be. Heritage. Any war crimes I should know of? What? what? I... um. You're just far too plain. You need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Ah, The art is incredibly cute. Interesting. You get far too easily as well. Plan on working your fortitude. Bla Blaze! I said we'll try something else. The card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of here. Summon, what's your plan? Uh, let's try a little sippy sip. There's a drink without a coaster. The biggest defense. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. <laughs> Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. I've actually considered getting coasters for my desk because I've there's usually get water on my skill left. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great! With the guard distracted, well, I'll head to the elevator. Blaze immediately so mean! <laughs> Rude. Rude pretty lady. Uh, just like that, we'll all make it into the elevator. Inside we... Celebratory dance, pop apple cider, save victory at Capella. We gotta pop the apple cider, obviously. Now that's a proper victory. Look at us partying! <laughs> good, little, good little bevy, little drinks. I have a cute little ceramic bee coaster that works for cotton hole drinks. That is incredibly cool. Did you buy that or like find it somewhere? I love little ceramic pieces. Oh no. Last one security measure we didn't account for. <gasps> What's the last one? What do we do about the mechanical arm attacking us from the ceiling? Is that gonna be a thing? <laughs> little eyes. <laughs> High five them each, have tape to sail them. Tails, that's, that's your that's your avenue. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, it leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. <laughs> I didn't see the little thing. Cry and hope they sympathize, imagine you're not in pain, and pretend there's nothing wrong. Uh, that's just basically tough it out. I think this is funny. Tails managed to do it. Uh, I was gifted from my in-laws. They also gave us some reusable sandwich wraps 
the fabric coated in beeswax you can use this to seal and reuse. Oh, those things. I've thought about trying to get some uh, of that beeswax cloth. I just haven't really in, like invested in it. Uh, but it, it sounds good. Uh, and it sounds like it would be a good thing to use, especially if you use a lot of cling wrap. Uh, Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. This plan is going to go wrong immediately. I am I can tell this is not going to work. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up that elevator. Alright, let's, let's watch this all go. Oh! Did it just work? <laughs> the plan would go off without a hitch. This is the most genre incorrect thing. <laughs> it's perfect. Wow. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Radio so ever be. What is that from? I can't remember. That is from a song from a musical, and I can't remember what it is. Truk, if you know what the song is, please remind me, because I can't remember in this moment. Our planning beforehand was very thorough. I must admit, it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. We must reclaim our real prize. I have the safe code right here in these blueprints. Do I see the blueprints? Let me see them. That was Rapunzel? Interesting. My brain was not thinking that, but I don't... I don't assume you would be animated series. Oh, you're right. Yeah, the little boy. I still need to watch that show because I've watched the f part of the first season. I don't think I finished it, but some of the the later seasons look like they get really wild. And I love that. I love the little the little boy. I, lo I love a a little scrungly guy with goggles on his head who's who's got some problems. That's a that's a great character right there. I really love the archetype. But the safe code for the blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. Hee <laughs> hee! Anything else in this room to look at before we do that? Um, we have... Money. We have the big safe and we have the little safe. Let's look at the big safe. I haven't watched it, but I've heard the song on OC Animatics. Yeah, that's a, that's a well-loved song by people who like to put characters in pain. Let's check out this big safe. What could they possibly be storing in all of these? Money. This is the casino car. I suppose all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings too. Rings? You can find those lying about in the grass. That's of no interest of us. Let's focus on the real price, shall we? Right. We gotta find the safe with the Fabergé chow egg inside. Tails, you're way too excited about stealing. No question. This has to be the safe with our treasure. Entering the code in the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see, two, three, zero, four, zero, one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's here. Ha <laughs> ha. I have it. Interesting. All right. Before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. You can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? Probably not that you've said it now. No further secrets whatsoever. Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Hello? <laughs> Thank you for the awoo. I thought that was the game and I like, like <laughs> I thought that was the game and I was like, Rouge sounds much different than I thought. Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, because anyone who opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. <gasps> My god, you can open the egg? That's part of the Fabergé egg. I thought that was the game, I was gonna lose it. <laughs> We've all been gaslit. <laughs> the, the timing was perfect. <laughs> Thank you. You sure can! And all of you will bear witness to a secret. Oh, uh, Rouge is gonna kill us all. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Nah, is this a twist one? It's a bomb! What have you done? Oh, the music is speeding up. Uh-oh. Rouge, what have you done? Uh-oh. Rouge? Has no one lived to tell this egg secret? Something has happened. 
Something has indeed happened. Because each egg is a bomb. I think you're onto something, kid. Sure sounds like a bomb. Just close the door on the safe. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? After all our hard rouge. Fine, fine. What do we do? Where do we put this thing? Close the door. That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? <laughs> There's so many options. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys pick. I'm gonna let you guys pick. What should we do with it? What? What should we do with this bomb? What is... What option do you guys think this has? This is reminding me of, an, of a game I played back... Uh, played, watched in high school. <laughs> this is evoking interesting imagery. My ADHD brain would sit with that. <laughs> Explode to be honest. Fair. Throw and lock it in the safe. Throw and lock it in the safe is what I think would be the safest. Twisting the egg again could stop it. It might not even be a bomb. You're right. We're, we're gonna eat this egg. I'm just gonna eat it and see what happens. I thought any salt. <laughs> no, no, any salt I won't. Really, Summa? Probably a poor time for jokes, huh? Alright, so that's not working. What are we doing next? We have to kiss it. Tails cool it down with his tail. It's not even necessarily hot. Let it finish ticking and see what happens. Toss the egg in the elevator. That just gets it away from us. Open it up to see where, the, where the, there's wires to cut. Have Blaze set the egg on fire. Rock the egg to sleep. Flip the egg upside down. Stomp on it. Chow. Chaos control. The eggs away. Uh, let's click chaos control. Where did you hear about chaos control? Doesn't matter. We need a Chaos Emerald to be able to do that. Well, dang it! Uh, Rouge, kiss it. It's as they say, love always prevails. I still hear the ticking. Huh, what a prude. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to find all the stupid options first. Um, rock the egg to sleep is very crybaby. Uh, yeah, rock the egg to sleep. So you think this egg is just cranky needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? Everyone's always mad at the ideas, guy. Uh, where is it? There was, tell the egg to stop. Yeah. Stop! That did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. Y you never know, Rouge. Let's take one. <laughs> take one for the team. What in God's name does that mean? Here. Give it to me. Huh? Get, get as far away from me as possible. Just remember me as I am <laughs> a hero. <laughs> no, Sema, won't you do that? I mean, that's what they want. What are we to? Stop. Microwave Kid is obviously not going to sacrifice himself. Their body's far too scrawny to get in any of the blast. Wow. True. Let's think of something else. Quick. Toss an elevator. Let Tails cool with his tails. Uh, let's just... Let's just let's let's just throw it in the, let's throw it in lock of the safe. Let's just see if that does it. Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Ugh, okay, fine, it's going back in. Tails, the safe won't lock, the door stays open. What? Close the door and lock twist the dial. Obviously I am. There must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How are we supposed to? We don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. Interesting. Oh my god. Is this just an egg timer? Let me just twist it again. Great idea. Stop, stop. It's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. Okay, so it's not an egg timer. Uh, tossing the elevator. We gotta get rid of it. Alright, down it goes. We're clearly not gonna blow up the elevator. Let's rethink. Okay, let's rethink this. Uh,. Let's sit down. Let's finish ticking. See what happens. I feel like this is probably just let it see what happens. Crack the egg. Uh, Cricket has crawled onto my shoulder from the PC tower. Now she says hello. Hello, Cricket. Hello, kitty. Good baby, kitty. I'm gonna smash it into the wall. All right, here goes nothing. Rouge. We should probably think of a different plan. 
Oh, there was a stomping one. Let's just break it. Suck my eggs. Smushed. I'm guessing you don't like this idea. Obviously not. Flip upside down. Sema, what is flipping it going to do? Cricket is but a little monster affectionate. Kitties are all just little little gremlins. Little monsters. That's why we love the mission that red, Kitty B. I don't know. Try it. Nothing? Happy? Yes. <laughs> you never know. The scientific method. <laughs> Open up, see if there's wires to cut. What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire, you gotta cut one? Like the movies? This isn't a movie, Sama. This is real life. Ah, he's got a good point. Alright, have blitz the egg on fire. Call me crazy. Probably fire and explosives shouldn't mix. You don't think fire would neutralize the blast? You just like to say things, don't you, Sama? Maybe! Alright. Pull the bomb down with your tail, like a fan. With a try. I still hear ticking. How refreshing the breeze may be. Hmm, okay, new plan. Alright, the very last thing. Let's just let it finish ticking. Let's see what happens. Are you insane? Do you just want us to blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Sama. That's our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but... What if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Sama, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just... Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Oh, interesting. Um, uh, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was assist installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they it can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the plane. Ensuring train, ensuring passenger safety. Oh. Those robotic arms that attacked us on the elevator seem to have a lot of function here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as a Fabergé egg, the arms would have detected it. It wouldn't have allowed it on. Interesting. The only other person who knows the comings and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. Unless he's evil. So, if we're out of options, I think we should just wait and see what happens. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we wait. Okay. We're just, we're just gonna wait now. It stopped? The egg, it opened. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Phew. My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. Mine was right. Thankfully. Eee! Look what's inside. Aww. Wow, look at that sparkle. And it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé Chow Egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect, it's exquisite, it's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? It's so cute. I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Egg secret. I wonder why the egg wasn't a bomb. It looks like a souvenir you buy at a beach market. You are comp- yeah, that is 100% something you buy at a beach market. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. And a beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Ah, uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. I'm assuming y'all got caught in the elevator, but... Oh. No one seems to suspect anything. And the security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdued the drink coast fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. That was the, exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun. But I prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge? 
She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? What about those blueprints? Now that you're done with them, maybe we can take a look? While I appreciate your assistance, as it is said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise I'll let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. Uh, she can try, though. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. <laughs> I think everyone on this train could probably overpower this the, this character. Well, we'll go out of your way for now, then. I have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Why does everyone have a key? Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of passengers mention you, Rouge. But we also just... But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. The wizard and... Catligs? Please let me know if I pronounced that true. Kate... I'm gonna hold my phone closer. I feel like my parents... Kate Lig, Kate Lig party is the ro is the Rouge personality. So our Warlocks player true in the Rouge outfit. That is amazing. This scene is two hundred percent something she'd say. Fantastic. I'm surprised not suspecting Blaze at all. We'll do. Come on, Sema, let's head out. Gotcha. Mystery continues. Are we not gonna chat with them? Okay, we can. Is there anything else in this room we can like poke at? We got the bars. Wait, let me see if I can change anything. Jackpot. <gasps> no cheating. Twinkle Park. Knight's Pinball. I would love if they made like a remake of the Knight's games. I love the aesthetic so much, but I look at the actual games themselves and they, they kind of look butt ugly. And I would love to see a remake of those games with like current technology with like a, a an art team because just uh it looks so good what is this i'm seeing him at the bottom of the screen dropped frames 14 percent i will need to look into that later uh the a of cockledge is sort of like an ah sort of rough a sound i don't know how to explain it cockledge sounds like it sounds like a germanic name cockledge Little arm. Oh, like the A in cat. So cat, catlig, like kitty cat. The capacities of these robotic arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. Catlidge, awesome. Uh, I can't wonder how they're controlled. It's a Breton name. Aha. I don't know. The conductor was ordering it around earlier. At the very least, things seem to operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that's true. They're very versatile. We've got... There's something else. Oh, there's a table. Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Well, I'm gonna play Blackjack. Ready for Hold'em? Hold'em. I think I've played Blackjack. I don't know how to play that. Uh, I think I know how to play. Sema, we simply don't have time for this. We must avenge Sonic. Probably a good point. <laughs> a man is dying, and I'm like, I'm going to teach you how to play some gods. Hmm. Should I go to the slot machine to try? Yeah, play the slots. All right, let's see. Big money, big money. Well, I lost. Do I try again? No, move on. I respect your restraint. I've never, like been to a place with slots before i feel like it would be fun to go in and like see it but like long term it's just like there's so many issues with gambling addictions that just like it would not be something i'd want to do often uh whenever i'm like in a game where they have a gambling thing like this i'll have like i know how much money i came in with and i'll make like a point where i'm like if i lose this much money like, if I get down to this, like, money point, let's say if I come in with, like, $100, and I say, if I get money down to, like, $75, that's when I stop. 
we don't go farther than that if I if I end up losing a lot and if I end up winning a lot then I'll make new points where it's like oh if I've made uh, if I now have $150 my new stopping point once I hit that threshold will become $125 to like help prevent myself from getting into a losing spiral uh, and also the baby's back the baby is back for some schnuckles hi honey you just like to loaf in just the most, the most, in like, well, in copper hands, not the word, but the most inconvenient positions. Cause she's, she's sitting on my thigh and she's putting her little paws up on my stomach, like right beneath my chest. Uh, and she's just loafing. And I know what she's going to do is she's going to start reaching up to stretch to try and force me to lean back even farther. Or she's just going to leave. Bye kitty. Okay. never mind. No snuggles, I guess. Uh, I still want to chat with them. Let me talk with the Bruce first. Thanks again for your help earlier. And what can I do for you, darlings? Are you hungry? Your alibi. Well, let's put the alibi, because seemingly I'm not going to get anybody food. I guess. I, too, like to loaf. Who doesn't love to loaf? She loves to loaf, and she loves she loves to be. She loves to make things inconvenient for people, don't ya? She's a good girl. Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? The name began the murder mystery. What did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her onto my Fabergé chow egg hunt. We split up at the casino car, and I went searching for the blueprints. I worked back to the library and the saloon cars till I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your shift? Your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around. I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. Oh shit, it's for hey, Am. I should probably sleep. You should probably sleep. It is late. I hope you have a good night, though, and a good rest. Please give Fifi a little kiss for me as well. I hope you have a lovely night. We appreciate you answering your questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. And Blaze, the coolest cat around. Long off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Can I bet your alibi, please? Do you need to go over your alibi again for us, Blaze? When Amy being in the murder mystery, what did you do? Thanks, I will. Have a fun end of the stream. Take care. Thank you. I think we're probably going to keep powering through. Uh, I think it would be a longer stream than usual, because I think we can probably wrap up this game. I imagine once we're done with Shadow, we'll probably have like one more section. I think that'll be the game, but... We'll see. Uh, let's go. Sure. We left the dining car and Roos pulled me aside to talk about the Fabergé chow egg. We walked and talked in the casino car. And we went on our separate ways. I skipped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played shot slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any, any sort of proof that you were playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I gave the cash out voucher. You can take a look. Oh! Let's see here. 14,000 credits? That's an enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. Cat, I swear to God. Her cat tree is right next to my desk. And her, like, path was deciding to jump onto my laptop. So I had to move it onto my lap right now. And now she's just giving it a snorf. That smirk. She's so self-aware. She's so quirky. Well, thanks for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? That's a little bunny, isn't it, right? Can you not eat the cords, kitty? Oh, kitty, why can't you just be nicely well-behaved and just not, not in the way? Of course, can do. Alright, so it looks like this is done. I don't think any of them really had anything to do with it. Hi, kitty. Ready to get going? Uh, yeah, let's find Shadow. Let's do it. I need you to not be in the way, kitty, if I have to do another thinking game. Chaos baby. She's 
she's doing this thing where she's just sitting loafed on my desk as close to the laptop as possible because she likes to try and crawl onto it when I'm not paying attention because she just loves to sit on the laptop keyboard because she's a little gremlin. Now is as good as a time as any to clean out my pockets. You know I- I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. And my reasonings, I- No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm. I see you made it here, Tails. Yeah, we did. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. See what you say when your microwave chili dog is delicious. Fam, I think you might have killed Sonic on accident. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Huh. Not saying a thing. So you lot will have to tell me why. Now if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who do you want to who wants to meet with him? Well, Summer, it seems like Shadow is gonna talk, so let's just do investigating. Alright. Ready to find some answers, Tails. Indubitably, my dear Summer. Where's Amy here? We have I'm surprised that it's not lighting up like a like a beacon. Let's see here, presenting Big Chow Gang. Take a beat. Visit the music playing the zone. Let's do the little Chow Gang. They're having the little thing. Hey, it's the Big Chow Gang. Band. Give us a- play us a ditty. <laughs> what was that? They don't miss. The Chow understand music. Do they? Always oh, a little these dusting up. It's not a robotic arm. It's just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell to do something? Uh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you bring me a cold colas? I don't think that's gonna work because earlier I asked it for food and it was mean at me, so I'm gonna do a high five because I think it's the best I'm gonna do. It doesn't seem to be listening to you. Aw, shoot. But I can give you a high five. Yeah! Ah, sweet. Not to dunk on Tails, but I feel like he would be bad at giving high fives. I feel like he'd do it too soft. I used to be bad at giving high fives, but I've been, I've I've bettered myself. Uh, Sama, can you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out, or what if someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. So I'm collateral damage. All right, I'll open it. I am the protagonist, you can't really kill me. The story ends if that happens. Alright, watch a pro. All this dust. You opened the door too fast, it blew everywhere. Why is it purple? Look, like purple always means something. Alright, well. Oh, pull cord. Huh. Tails, do you see this? Pull string. Sema. What? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opens. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. Oh wait, no, we're immediately going. Okay. <gasps> this is the library. It's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shh, quick, back to the passageway before they spot us. That is good to know. Oh. We need to add that to our inventory. Hidden passageway was added to your inventory. That's good to know. We've got a printer? The hell? Do you have a zoom meeting coming up? Anything else in this room? No, there's everything over here. The waste bin! Tails. No. Tails. I think we should check the waste bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Sama, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you gonna get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Sama? There's always something in the trash bin! Get it! 
All right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? <laughs> Fuck you. Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. I was right. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. It's always success if you track the trash bin. A couple paper was added to your inventory. Can I take a look at it? Can I take a look? Ball of paper found in the trash bin. I don't want to see what it is. Oh, I don't even get to see it. They're just telling me this info. This is going to be nothing, isn't it? I'm going to save real quick. Just in case. I don't think it's actually going to crash, but you never know. Resume. Uh, let's save this for less. Hmm. A key ring. Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Okay, so he was the locksmith. Interestingly, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Well, two keys. There's two sets of people who didn't have keys. That was Vic Vector and Espio, and then Sonic didn't have one, presumably. Everybody else had some sort of set of keys. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring was added to inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and figure out what really happened. But I want to see the other things. Printer time. Seems a printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic singing a song. Sonic. Let's do Sonic wearing a bow. Huh. This printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah. The user interface is very clear, but I won't let it stump me. Huh. And there we go. I love this. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. In the computer. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. Shame to be on the computer and miss these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. So what was Amy doing with it? I, I don't think the game wants us to chat with her yet. She's just hanging out. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare. So cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Sama, we will certainly not. Uh, yeah, talking just gonna have them be mean again. Alright. Let's do this. Let's have some questions, sometimes. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. With who? Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train. And every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door on this train and... And I know why! <gasps> huh? Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? Hehe, <laughs> time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next train is a conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door was right here in the lounge car. It's the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following. So Shadow is locked was locking all the was Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Okay, but how to get back to the dining car? So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others so the locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all, get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. I still think Amy did it, if Sonic just didn't get food poisoning. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound, though? Was Sonic trapping Shadow? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door of the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how is Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly! I think Sam and I could explain the car change, however. Huh? That explains how he may have moved rooms, but doesn't explain how he got 
past... Let's explain how we got past Knuckles, though. Sema, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? If he was locked in the conductor's car, though, that doesn't really explain it, but I know what this is going for. Okay, let me just get my thoughts in order. Think! Alright. Oh, it's a red color. Oh, I immediately died. Ah, I thought I had it. I'll give it another try. Yeah, thank you for not... Alright, let's go. Whoop. Oh, we're just getting exploded now. Okay. And we're booming. What the explosions do? Are these instantly kill you or are they just hurt you? Okay, we're great. That was surprisingly painless. Instead of the, the flop at the beginning, that was because I was forgetting to kind of use it. Sema and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked back, distracted the walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, Sema. Here's the thing, though. Because when I opened it, dust came out, which implies it hasn't been opened in a while. I don't think this is involved necessarily. Hmm. This adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to the station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and then dropped the body off in the dining car. <sighs> Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I, I don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha! Seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. <laughs> if Shadow's not gonna talk, then I'll humor you once more. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um... I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people? Sama, do you have any guesses? Well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Espy was reading. We've already established that he never saw a shadow. Uh, I believe Espy was on a bookshelf at, the re at, the, at a table reading. Huh? Espy reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me. He's lying. W what was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espy, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like, I believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. Why are you even searching for Espio? Huh. It's a good point, actually, especially. Oh. What are you hiding? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. That's right. That's what I was saying earlier when, when like, he, he has extra keys. He couldn't find Espio, maybe. That's right. As if. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Every one of us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Yeah! Perhaps. Sama and I can further evaluate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Sama, what evidence supports Shadow claim that he's been giving keys away? The key ring. That feels good. I get my thoughts in order. Yeah, I don't think he did it. I think either the conductor did it and it's like Eggman secretly. Or it's like... Somehow Eggman's on here. Or again, Shadow getting... Sonic getting food poisoning. And... Uh, and I'm just gonna jump. I don't wanna get hit. God, yeah, that one level I had earlier, I don't know why it gave me so much trouble, but these later levels are much more my speed. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espo and Espio and Vector. No way. Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. 
<laughs> Interesting. So let's say Shadow's been telling the truth. Then what? Hmm? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? It was, I don't know, part of his role? She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't been presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent on Sonic's murder? I think Sema and I know exactly why Shadow is locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? <laughs> First, Amy, I have one question for you. Huh? Has everyone today been- has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. <gasps> was Shadow- Was Shadow trying to prevent Amy from coming to get, like, her present or ready or something? Just, um... Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. That's okay. Just them being here is enough. Oh, is the band for her? Understood. Thank you, Amy. Sema? Uh, yeah, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car lock in the Essex, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right. The conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow couldn't find us. Shadow wanted to keep us away. We were intended to have that. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Sema. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. <gasps> oh, he was doing a he was doing a widow surprise for her. What? Excuse? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Heartbreaking news. Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Oh, he does. How dare Sema show me evidence. Huh? Shadow is trying to keep me away. Prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? I've got this thing you printed out. Amy thinks Tails was trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows us what Sonic didn't- what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? I'm assuming it's this thing. It feels right. Phew, just what are my thoughts? Alright. Video game time. And this and this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh god, oh no. Nuts! Let's see what another go. And better. I love this jump. Oh, so many things. Oh, so many. Woo! Woo! Oh, that might have been bad. And we'll be fine, we're fine. 69! Nice! Huh. <laughs> Thank you for the Fs. <laughs> you went rooting through the trash? You, wait, no, this was Shadow. You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? You found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band ticket website? Are you trying to get tickets for Amy? Tails don't- Oh my god, is he meaning to like, get everything ready to go? <gasps> Gasp, this is Hot Honey's website! No way, I love them! We, we did it, guys. We figured it out. Huh? Huh, honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is... Huh, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name? Yeah, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. The tickets are really hard to get. You have to be really online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? <gasps> Was he trying to get the tickets for Amy? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know why Tails figured it out. Th I don't know how Tails figured things out soon. So soon. But I see where he's heading. 
The printout of the Hot Honey Bands ticket website exists because... <laughs> Shadow's a big Hot Honey fan. Nah, he was buying tickets for Amy. Oh, Shadow, you softy. What? Shadow, is that true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? <laughs> I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. I was trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday, yeah. <gasps> Shadow! I used that printer earlier and found it difficult to manage. When I logged onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? Huh? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly, despite being the ultimate life form. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder. Spell everything, Shadow. The cat's of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise was ruined anyway. Oof. Probably our fault here. Ah, sorry. That's all the detective's job is, I suppose. Well, when I arrived in the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. I worried for my social status. I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but will be available soon. That's the appointment you were speaking of? The time you were able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew how to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. Wow, everyone was really bad about that, but granted, Amy had the big key, so that didn't really stop anything. Didn't work, though, and we still managed to make it here. Somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, this birthday key. I should have guessed, it's a well-known privilege. This is so cute, sucks about Sonic, I guess. He's probably fine. <laughs> Poor man's dead. <laughs> Shadow, I... Your gesture is so sweet. And after I accuse you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later and make it up to you. You can come with me. Uh, I, I don't know if... Too late. It's happening. Eee! Show of a lifetime. Ah, <sighs> fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. <sighs> Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked door has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. This wasn't a hot tip at all. Leading me to believe Sonic was behind it, Shadow's behind everything. Amy, who gave you the hot tip? Who gave this to you? My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Damn, she'll never get hired in this town again. Amy, I'm curious. Who was the source for your big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. <gasps> but we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'll have to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. I'm more than happy to have you both. So I might have to say this. But I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. <laughs> Watch it be Sonic who faked his death. <laughs> we have an earlier theory that Sonic got uh, food poisoning from eating uh, a chili dog. <laughs> and he's like, no one killed him. He just got sick. <laughs> right on then. Let's do it. All right, they can his car. We haven't seen Eggman yet, but we keep seeing him pieced up. Either Sonic has food poisoning, or the conductor is Eggman, like, hiding, like, in secret. Uh, it's that- we have a lot of plausible options. Ready to go to the conductor's car? Yes. Let's finish this. It's now or never. Alright. Why does his arm look dead? Uh-oh. Should really sort up my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor's car yet. Oh! I love this little picture over here. It's so cute. Uh, 
feels empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Why are you sitting there looking all pretty? So a, a scuffle happened here? So we have the controls. We have whatever the hell that is. We have a spilled cup. PA. This is like clearly good. This is... Ah, sus. I'm like trying to think what's the last thing I want to click on. We have to track the trash can. You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say I always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. But what if you checked it again? So something spilled here. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. Alright, alright. We get it. He loves his wife. <laughs> He's a wife man. We've got evidence of what looks like a scuffle? This robotic arm is going to be completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. An arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break it out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off. The question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot got an arm. Add to my inventory. Can I look at his little photo? Little baby. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. For 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. So he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. We have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them happiness. I have a weird feeling. Has this train been operational for 32 years? Many future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yeah, I wish that too. Uh, can I click on the seat? This is like somewhat stabbed with this. Uh, what's this? Was someone playing darts? Oh, was someone playing darts? Oh my god, that's not a throwing dart, that's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon on this train. <gasps> huh, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before lending them aboard. Unless they're the conductor who ripped the arm off. Let's make note of this. We'll let us add it to your inventory. I think we've enough found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Okay, so maybe this was put here to make the train go forward when all this stuff was happening? I mean, that's why everything went topsy-turvy? Let's click it though. And I realized robotic arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't drive or access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Uh, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true, you could drive this train flawlessly. Aw, guys. This is a TV. I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they use to show information and advertisements. They're nice. The picture is really clear. I could watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that says, Happy Birthday, Amy. That is so cute. The next ad of being for nasal medication was a bit jarring, though. The high-quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. And sussy. A vent! Huh. A large one. It seems at least a pers one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? He could fly. Oh, the, uh, tails. Right. Sama! Ugh! <laughs> why did that seem such, like, a weird air? Uh, what was the... Are we just investigating now? Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he had to drive the train the entire time. I guess the same, but the train sped quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. <laughs> you good, Sonic? You good, Shadow? I keep calling me Sonic. I don't know why. Amy! Did we talk to you? Well, you two? Think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Sama? Ready to solve this case? Uh... Sure. I don't think any of the people here did it. I think maybe the conductor might have done something. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. 
Please report to the conductor's car at once. All right. Let's do this. Let's figure out who killed Sonic. Hello, everybody. Everyone. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Sema. Why hasn't Sonic showed up? Ooh. <gasps> Where is he? Vector! Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead. Is he bum? Ready. Let's go get him. Yeah, he's not gonna be okay. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is intense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel ca so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, SBO. This bitch is a detective? That's cool. You and I both love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says the train does escape rooms as well. Ooh, I love escape rooms. Count me in. I've always wanted to do an escape room. They look really fun. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun too. <gasps> no, that's not good. That's not good at all. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Stanced up. Get him, Knuckles. What in the world? Th that's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Oh. Uh-oh. He he's not responding to us. Sonic! Sonic! What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. There's a pulse. It's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head's propped up. I'll help you. Damn, they really just killed Sonic. I knew one of you would take this too far. I mean, he may just have been, like, knocked out with, like, blow darts. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less! Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again. <laughs> Which one of you did this? Amy is... <laughs> Amy's ready to kill. <laughs> I'm struggling to stay awake. This is terrible. Oh no, if you need to sleep, please do. Please get resting. I, I believe it's later where you are than where I am. I'm assuming it's later. Please, please get good rest if you need to. Uh, so I'll on again. Which one of you did this? <laughs> please. I don't think anyone did this. This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but... Somehow he met his match. I'm going to get help- I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're gonna figure out exactly what happened in this room. And punish the one responsible. Sonic... I really was hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. This is why safe words are good. That's why safe words are a good thing to have. To check in and be like, hey, Sonic, are you actually dying? Uh-oh. Uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Tails, Sema, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic? The hedgehog. Is there a, a, a question for nobody? I don't think any of them did this. Can I, there's gotta be another option. None of them did it. I don't think any of them did it. Like, Espio is the only one, I think, who could have... Well, we, we straight up don't know what Blaze has been doing. She just said that she was in the back. What? Why, why am I being yelled at? <laughs> What is it, dear? Uh, Blaze, we really do not have an alibi. Espio, no one's really seen him. And he had access to that walkway, but I also don't think that he did it. Uh, Amy, I've been suspicious of the whole time, but I don't think she'd actually kill Sonic. Tails, no. Knuckles, no, no. I just don't think anyone did it. Blaze had enough time when when Shadow was gone. I think maybe Blaze. 
Hmm, I don't see it. Can I explain your reasoning? Ah, well, um... I'm putting the spot like this. It's hard to explain. Maybe I'll pick somebody else. Okay. Who in this room did this? Who killed? Oh! Let me click it. Damn it! Amy is a mogus. Amy is a mogus. I'm trying to think of, like, anything else in the this room. I don't think anyone did it. Uh, I mean, Amy did it. They can't be right. Neither Tails and I can be the murderer. That's right. Let me pick again. Who did it? Who killed it? Wait, is Sonic dead? He's... Definitely not, like, physically fine. I don't think he's dead. But something happened to him. We found a blow dart. So, I think maybe he got hit with, like, a tranquilizer. He's not... He's not dead dead. There's no way he's actually dead. But something happened. And the game is like, who did this? And I think the conductor, or Eggman, did it. And I'm trying to find something else in this room to click on. Literally anything. Do I have anything? Ace Attorney dead, but not Ace Attorney dead dead. You're right. Yeah. Needled in the tushy. His butt got shot. Espio. You were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Wait, really? <gasps> what? I didn't know such thing, my young friend. But if a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Reinstating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. I guess there was, there was the door that he went through, so it, I guess it could have been Espio. Espio was locked in a library card reading. He only had to access the saloon card during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Sema, can you fill everyone in? What do we find that brings in the question Espio's alibi? Vector's been acting protective. No, that's just, that's just gay. Uh, and we discovered a hidden passage. I think that's what it was. It was the defining the passage. Espio could have left the library at any time, because Tails and I found a hidden passage in the library car. I guess a detective could have found it. To the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. He also couldn't have unlocked the door. He didn't have a- he didn't have a key. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Sema and I can explain that too. Sema? How did Espio know everything on the train manual he was reading? <laughs> a ninja like him speed reads. He's a poet, so quick reader. He's not a poet. I guess just a, a, the poet thing? Espio's a poet. I feel a profession would make him quite the reader. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. R what? That's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know it. this is a talented bunch, but that seems a lot. I don't know. It's plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. Well, I've known Espio a long time. Who wants to be read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me? <laughs> That's so rude. <laughs> So rude! What the hell did you do to invoke that ire? <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passageway, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Again, he doesn't have a key. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. Okay, I don't think he did it, but his, his whole expressions are really not helping him out. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would I have known it was even there? Yeah, protect your boyfriend. You said it yourself, kid. We're lucky to even find the passage. Sema and I not have the evidence to answer your question. We know someone who does. Sema? Do we? Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? I don't know! think he did let's let's think about who might have who might have evidence it's not tails because he asked it's not amy because why the hell would she know knuckles i don't think knuckles is a damn thing and then there's shadow but Sha why would shadow i guess ruse because she's poking around anyway rouge we need to see those blueprints oh that's right 
Blueprints? You stole my blueprints? Whatever. I already used it to scout for more treasure. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints were added to your inventory. That's right here in this blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Roj had them. Well, Samba, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio swiped them from the conductor. Espio found them before Rouge did. She got excited when she saw the, the, the brochures, so he probably hid them there. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Uh, in the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. I took the saloon first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So he saw them before she did. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked up the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. With Amy's guidelines, the murder can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but some I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. The tip of that dart was bred. Has he been hiding it in his roses? I'm not sure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Sema and I have evidence on how it was done. Hmm. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Let me move up this blow dart. Blow dart, find the connector's car. No dart board nearby, though. Suspicious. Okay, not a form of argument. Did he really do it? Come on, focus. You're so close, Sema. What would Sonic do? Sonic would run. Sonic would not solve mysteries. Okay. Oh, well. Alright, doing it again. Let me try again. I kind of wish they didn't, like, bring it down. I wish they kept it up. It's a little jarring when it kind of, like, goes down. Okay, doing okay. And... Oh my god! Well, that wasn't very kind. Let's go. And going back and forth. We're good. And we're good. Just gonna get out of the way here. Oh, that was fun. Okay. Oh, we did it! Hooray! That wasn't as hard as it could have been. This blow dart was found here in the conductor's room. Hmm. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. <gasps> you, so you mean... Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules... A blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. That's a lot! My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? Just like Swiss cheese. You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Again, why do you look so shady? Ah, shit, that's a good point. But Tails was on to something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up in the library. Some might know another way he could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Uh... Hmm. What? Um... There's a broken arm... There's this map. I'll just throw the blueprints out, see what's up. Alright, that's my argument. We're getting closer, I think so, I think. Ugh. I still haven't picked the wrong options, but I don't know if I still have to do this even if I'm wrong. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, that went well. A big oof. Let's do another try. Da -da -da. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. Let's go. 
We gotta be close. This has to be like the last bit of the game, I imagine. I'd be shocked if there's much more after this. Okay, so here... And we gotta jump up. Wait. I guess I have... I don't have to do that. Well, I landed on the one spot I shouldn't have. I'm not doing well. But I'm not... I'm not dead yet. Oh, I can jump over those. Oh, we did enough! Yeah! Let's go! Ooh. I thought I was... I thought I failed that. Alright, let's take a look. Vesper didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car. Then what route did he take to get Sonic there? Huh? There! There's a passage above the conductor's car. And it goes all the way to the dining car. I thought that. Yeah, earlier when I was like, there's no way he gets back unless he gets outside of the train. <gasps> huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden passage in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. That's not quite how trains work, but it's good enough. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. <gasps> Are we on to you, SBO? Have you betrayed us? The vent! Of course, that must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There's a path back here. And a track. A track? Huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move through the train. So you're saying... I somehow fit Sonic into that vent and took him to the dining car. Oh? Tails, you're a smart kid. So I realize we both couldn't fit up there. And this feels right. This is feeling flimsy. Did he rip an arm off, tie Sonic to it, and have him just get tugged back? I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? I guess the arm. Phew. And I think about my argument. You can do it, Sama. You can do this. Let's go. It's time to think with our dream gear. Well. Oh, shoot. That wasn't great. I'm not doing well. And jump up. Oh, we're not winning this one. Yeah, let's just die right here. We're not winning. I try it again. Okay. Oh, shoot, I'm on the wrong side. I need to stop getting hit as much. That was my big problem, is I'm just getting hit a lot. Okay, that's not the worst thing in the world. And... Jump. And... Up here. Yeah, that we... Yeah, none of our frames. Okay! We just gotta do better and not get hit. That's doable. Oh shoot, okay, not bad. Then... Jump up. Boing. Get more rings. And... We did it! Heck yeah, heck yeah. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? How so? Knuckle said there's a track that the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Why though? Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? So, I don't know. I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. I guess if the blow dart was stuck in Sonic, it could have gotten confused and grabbed him, but leaving the blow dart in the gun is a bit messy. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails. 
We have to admit, these are a lot of coincidences. I might be able to link everything to... I might be... I might not be able to link everything directly to Espio yet. But I have found one inconsistency. <sighs> what kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information. And I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? That would be Amy. Amy got a hot tip. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. <gasps> Tails, you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors of Trap Sonic. But we found Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio. Is it really you? I have to head off for the evening. Hope you get to finish the game. I hope you have a good evening. Thank you for hanging out. Have a good night. Sleep well. Give Percy and Nomi some kisses for me. <sighs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Yes, but I, I think you did it. I think you did the murder. Misheard you? Y yes, I said Sonic's getting trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, SBO. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot of being thrown out at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe that you were lazily reading the whole time? Well, you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Yeah. And now you're lying to me? On my birthday? Of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor's car to the dining car. If that happens, though, I'm surprised it doesn't coincide with when, you know, everything occurred. And lied to Amy casting further blame on Shadow, for no other reason than other to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everybody's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. It was clear to everyone that it had only been one person. <gasps> I can't believe this. It was you, Espio. This really is great, Ace Attorney. The points and everything. <gasps> I can't believe this. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. This is such a great... moment. I can't believe this. You betrayed me. You and your you and your love with Vector was, was a, a ruse. <gasps> He's alive! Thank God! Huh. Hey, guys. Sonic! You're okay! Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery, Espio is the murderer! Right. Oh. Espio jumped me in the conductor's car. <sighs> Dang it. You got me. A blow dart, though. Really? A non-lethal non poison. You must be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No, wait. There's something important. Yes, you left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad Nick? The hell is a bad Nick? Huh. Sonic, are you feeling alright? You need to lie back down? No, no. We all need to get off this train. Oh. We're not safe. What? When I arrived in the conductor's car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all the features of the train. What he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source, the conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized... The train's powered by a flicky? I hope this means something to Sonic people, because this means nothing to me. Oh, it's a baby! A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it... It was, it was more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They, uh, 
Certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky of the sting in my shoulder, it was a blow dart from Espio. Oh, Espio, you intervened in something you shouldn't have. Uh oh. Oh. Espio left. The lights in the room started to go red. Ooh. So Sonic hanging was the so Sonic hang ending up in the the dining car had nothing to do with Espio. Hey, stop! What are you doing? <gasps> no! I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me, pin me to the floor. Ah! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Dang. Oh no. Huh. Huh. Everyone, I have something to admit. Oh? I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. <laughs> why are you mad? The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you just why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. I, yeah, this guy seems like he would Yeah. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. <laughs> you should have explained it more to this guy. I was just following the rules. You just blow dart on Sonic Station in the conductor car. It's laced with non-lethal sleeping gas. Thank you again for choosing the Mars Express staff. Oh. So this was a ploy. What is that? It says you just blow dart on Sonic stationed in the conductor car. It's laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mars Express staff. Interesting. I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it. One of the robotic arms handed it to me. Ooh. This was a setup. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is a larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? I'm, I'm assuming Eggman. What? I mean, who or what? Sema, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? Uh, I think the train itself. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture for a good while. So I think the train itself is plotting something. <gasps> First we learned the train's a badnik, and now it's out to get us. Does anyone know what a badnik is? I don't really know much about Sonic, so I don't know if this is a thing. Once again, we, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us. I don't know what the train's full intent is, but it's been clearly tampering with our murder mystery game. Train? Whoa, uh oh. Come out and show yourself. We're in the train, Amy. We were in the train. A A Amy, it's my birthday. I don't need you messing with it. Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's got to be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? Oh. Oh. Oh, we're locked down. What did you two do? Is that... <gasps> no! Not the conductor! <sighs> Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. <sighs> huh. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base, where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always planned. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, no. This is... Is this just the plot of her, but the rope, <laughs> but the train loves the conductor? What are you... Enough. 
The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Hmm. What you gonna do, Sonk? Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa. Sonic! <laughs> Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Whoa. No, no. I can't keep my footing. Ah! Oh, we died. Oh? Oh, we flew. Huh. A bunch of evidence falling out of my pockets. How much longer is this game? Huh. Huh. My head. Tails? Amy? Huh. Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? I need to yell, bud. Sonic! I'm so sorry, are you okay? Hanging in there. So the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. Jesus Christ. That is a distance. But where's everyone else? A great question. But for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking me? I feel like shit. Yeah, things are looking for the brightest. But when the situation's dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Ah. Uh, Sonic's just as cool as everyone says. This <laughs> has just become a Sonic fan fiction. It's like, me and my best friend Sonic solving the mystery. It's very cute. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Okay, so how long is this game? I... How long is this game? I'm debating on if we should stop here and pick up next Wednesday and finish it. Because I have I have no clue how long this game is. I thought we were done. We are... We are not done. Something is happening. I'm going to do a quick Google to see how long this game is. Just to see. Because I can't... I At this point, I have no idea if we have a long ways to go. And we are reaching the three hour point, And I... Wouldn't be against stopping now, but I if we're like at the end, I don't want to like start up next time and be like, oh, we were we had two seconds left. Uh, murder, Sonic the Hedgehog. Length. Let's see. How long is Sonic the Hedgehog? It says it's two hours long. In short, net duration, the work appears a bit unbalanced with components. In the case, it's about dedicating two hours. I, we might be almost done. We, we might just be about done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep moving forward and hope that this isn't like another like two hours. I'm not that slow at playing games. Uh, what did you break? Hey, one of those dark arms are here too. Yeah, it swiped at me. Best leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before our arm swipes us again. Uh, we've got this. My goodness, this door is daunting. The train's doing everything it can to keep us from the conductor's car. Let me see if a spin dash can't solve our problems. Ah, it'll take more hits to get through. Let's take it easy now and keep going. There must be another way to open this door. Like a switch. Classic door from mechanics. What doors are you using that requires a switch? Uh, I don't think talking to Sonic's gonna help. We've got... Oh? A yellow glow is chilling. Must have been just showing us the weather. Huh. Well, it's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Eggman! Hello, hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. We got some nourishing up here, egghead. Ho ho ho! You spiky blue pest! So you've finally taken passage on one of my trains- of my passenger trains. You own this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. <laughs> uh, ignoring that, they certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would be needed sorting out. So I courteously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. Just more useful for future schemes. That's actually smart. Let me guess. 
And the death egg, Dr. Predictable? The people fear a gigantic spears. It's science. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, the pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Did you manage to make the train quite upset? Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only now just getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capabilities of a badnik is very is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happen to board. Interesting. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train is really sentient. To suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. I'm in a train that happened nothing more than deliver you all to me. <gasps> I think it desires a little bit more than that. I think it desires the love of the conductor. See, I got to thinking. I need to manufacture motivation beyond the programming. I like to make my bad days compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So in instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture your pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. <sighs> the train wants to deliver us to Aikman for a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple like my Argograph or whatever. But a highly intelligent train. It may ask for something more. Interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever cross me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. <laughs> Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. Aww. This is tough. The train is the motivation is made by Eggman. No doubt powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposefully had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we're all in danger. And I went along with it. <gasps> you weren't a very good conductor's assistant. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? Should have done more. I didn't try very hard. I mean, those are both kind of mean. You don't really know what's going on. Am I at fault here? I knew Sonic was hurt all along. I couldn't keep anyone safe. I knew he was hurt. These are mean. Can I say something else? Hey. I can tell the situation is getting to you. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I... I get it. It was getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. That's the Sonic way. I need you helping me. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. <laughs> Sonic always brightens the day. Haha, <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and making things alright. Breathe. Okay. We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The door has been heavily fortified. How do we get through? <laughs> believe in yourself! What would you do? I'm just going to believe in yourself because I kind of hope Sonic just rushes forward. No matter the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure it out. The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Did it do it? Yeah! Wow, that was one big wind-up. Sonic Spin Dash was enough to get through the door open. Heh, <laughs> now the road's clear. Nothing can stop us. But hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Give me a sec. Alright, I got it. Let me know when you're ready. Alright, I'm gonna save, just in case it crashes. This has to be the last stretch. Save. Saving. Thank you. Resume. All right, let's go. Ready to save our friends? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. To the conductor's car to end this mystery. All right, is there any more mini games? Is there not? All right, our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. 
In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to burst through this next door too. Ready? Let's do this. Oh, he's got a little hat. I don't like how big this got. Okay. Oh, I can like... Oh, I can see my progression. I'm not doing well at all. Oh, this this sucks. Oh, this sucks. Oh. Yeah, not enough rings. Okay, let's go again. Let's just... Damn, five. Okay. Where is that? What row is those, like, big ones on? I thought I got through that. Oh, we're not doing well. Oh, nope, nope. We did better. We're improving. And that's what and that's what matters. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm. Nope, that was bad. Oh, this is going horribly. I don't think that last one I'm going to get that, but I can get this one. We are improving, though. That was awful, but we're improving. And go here. And get these rings. I'm just hitting a lot. I didn't get the one thing, so I'm I'm still I don't know how much I'm actually losing when I get hit. But it doesn't seem to be a ton, so it's not it's not the end of the world to get hit. It might honestly be worth it to to get hit by some of this stuff. Nope. Um, we're doing badly this time, but I was vaguely experimenting. There better not be multiples of these to get through, because I'm already not doing well. Mm. Okay. Nope, this is going badly. I'm just going to die here. Mm -hmm. We wet we three at this point. I'm going to experiment. Got multiple here. Getting hurt does what? Mm -hmm. So it's five for getting hurt, so... Mmm... The weird things might be worth running through stuff to get. Nope, okay, not hurt. And... That's not letting me grab it. I'm not to jump onto it? Okay, so now we're just starting to do worse. So, okay. I don't like the bomb. They're just kind of painful to, like, maneuver. And here. And here. I got one of those at some point. And here. Okay, we got through it. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Hm. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going until we're free. I I will I will deal with these all day. And here. That was just my own ineptitude. Here. Not enough. But that was our first run, so I'm not mad about that. We can easily improve. Well, 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 we're doing poorly. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna fall. We're not gonna, we're not finishing this. We would have definitely gotten through it that first time if I didn't get hit twice. Here. I just forgot to jump. That was just on me. That was me being a silly Billy. I 
think once you kind of get used to this... Oh, I just jumped into that hole. Okay. I just need to not go right to those jump pads when that becomes an option. Okay. Maybe I need to be more careful. Here. Nope. We can do this. I believe in us. If we all if we all throw our hands in and we, we think positive thoughts, we will get through this. Okay. Oh, I miss all of those things. In here. I'm gonna get that one. I guess you have to bail out sooner in that interaction. We are almost there. We just need to get more rings or just not get hit as much. Okay, let's go. Here. Nope, that was just bad. How do I get that? I'm gonna I'm gonna do an experiment, because I'm not clearing it well and it's because I'm missing rings. So let me see if it's going down the whole time. Does anything to prove my standing. Here. Okay, so that I need to like jump immediately when I get up there. I'm just doing horridly. Those ones are like needing me to to be jumped up, jumped onto them. Something has to either springboard me or I jump onto it. Here. Okay. Okay. That did that get it? Uh here. Oh shoot, I got hit. Here. Oh we did it! Let's go. We got Vector and we got Espio. Of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is getting off this stupid train. Let's go. Yes, thank you. Okay, we got hit immediately, which is not great. This is about expert placement, which I'm fine with. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ah, uh, shoot. I'll, I'll, I'm fine with this though. Let's just keep using. We just have to hit the right paths. Can I just fall? Please let me fall at some point. There's no like... Just let, me, just let me die. Let me die. I'm not doing well. I need to not get hit. Because getting, getting hit is just going to be the death of this level. Okay. Here, here, here. This one seemed like it was everything up top. here. Oh, shoot, I got hit. Oh, come on! I was so close. Again, yeah, just don't get hit and you're fine. Okay. This one, it was like the first choice you need to take the left option. Here. Oh, I missed it. Oh my god. Yeah, we're just completely screwed at this point. Well, let's just let's keep going. So middle. This is what the top knows the bottom. So it's topped, middle, bottom. And that's it. We can do that. Very simple pattern. It's not moving either, so that's good to know. And in here. Da -da -da. To the top. Here, middle, this is what we need, Boop. and now this is bottom, and we're golden, woohoo, oh that was the casino, it was the slot room, it was chances, Sonic, it's about time, I thought you were supposed to be fast Sonic, we gotta move, you two ready, always, let's boogie, 
And the last one. This is this this is the shadow level. I don't think we had a, a little thing for them. And here, moving, moving around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Da 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 da. Oh, he's bounced. Okay. Into there, into there. And here we go. That was, that was so nice. <laughs> Thank God. They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more. Let's go. Last one. Here. Oh, we got hit. It's not the end of the world. And we got hit. That might be the end of the world. Bounce in. Yes. Thank goodness. Sonic! Sonic, you're here! Yeah, <laughs> there's no way to treat the birthday, girl. You're right. I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. Woohoo! You've done it. Time to st stop this train that was having feelings. Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me. I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman land. And probably another death egg. Don't turn us into robots. Don't teleport us to the future. Why are these... Things? I guess don't turn us into robots. Ho ho ho. Haven't done that in a while. Maybe I will turn you all into robots to give Sage some new toys to play with. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappear. Don't disappoint me, train. Hurry up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me these overgrown mammals. Ugh, that Eggman. Oh, train, what you gonna do? I must get my wish. Huh? I will not fail. This is every everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Ooh. No. Don't make me do more sequences. I do like the train is here. That's fun. Oh. Oh, well. Shoot. Well, goodbye. This is so cute. This is incredibly cute. Okay. Here. There's one that was like all the way down at the bottom that I just completely missed. There we go. And here. And here to there. Whee! Yeah! Crushed it! None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave me like it was nothing? Who do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. Oh. We got plot. Oh, we got bombs now. Oh, if, if they just start putting everything at once, I'm not going to be super happy about that. I don't like these bombs. Oh, we're good. Sweet. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Oh, this poor train. I don't know things. I'm not doing very good with the whole ring getting this one around. Well. Come on. Let's go, Sonk. The biggest problem with these ones right now is just staying on the damn track. Okay. Okay, finally, we're just having some stretches of coins. And here, here, here. Okay. Conductor! You promised me. You promised. Let him speak. Unhand him. Train, stop this. When I told you we'd be with each other forever, 
I was such a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses. How dare you abandon me. I'll be lonely. So lonely. You must insist your loneliness upon me. Oh. No, stop. What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. <laughs> we have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. No. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like a creature. It's got a little face and everything. Now it's the one doing things. Oh, it's shooting us now. That's not great. I'm just like trying to get coins at this point. I'm not even like processing what's happening. We were there. Come on. Come on. I'm also starving right now, so I'm like powering through hunger to kill. Okay, that's fine. Mm. Not doing well, gamers. We're not doing super well. I did it again. I did it again. The jump instinct kicked in. Is that the Gurren Lagann mask? I can see the conductor inside. Like, in that brief moment of, like, looking at it, there's a shadow in there of the conductor. Okay. From the previous side, I was fine if it got hit, like, once or twice. Okay, we're fine. Mm. I keep doing the exact same thing. I need, like, someone to yell at me when that pops up, like, in the room, and be like, don't jump! Take my hands away. I just did it. Did well, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. We've, we did it. It's, we've, it's finally done. He just, just punched the train. Oh. The little bird. Oh, it's so tired. A flicky? This is just like the lore card. When my best, when my ex-best friend left detective to, to work to join Eggman. So this really is a bad neck. The stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him. On it. Let's show our full power. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't make me... Let's show our full power. Me has to do everything. Uh... Okay. It's happened to avoid everything. Okay, right here. Ba ba ba. Okay, we got hit. That's fine. Nope, nope. We're running out of things that are fine. Oh, did we just barely do it? We might have. Was that enough, or are we working sets of three? Just, just we delivered to Eggman already. What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me? Selfish? How? How dare you? You're so close. No, not a hundred. No. Let me be free. My neighbors upstairs are also making something that smells extremely good. And is not helping. Oh, we're not doing well. Just let me get to the end of this level. Oh, this is tiresome. Oh, we're not doing well. We're not going to get 100. Okay. Well, we already were not doing well. So that's probably smart to just jump off. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. Nope. I'm starting to just start, like, panicking buttons now, and it's showing. And da -da -da. It's kind of come on, come on. Whoop. Oh, that's okay. Okay, that might have been good to grab. We are doing horrendously. We're not even halfway. We need to improve. Okay. 
Okay. Nope. Da -da -da. Up and down. Up and up and dump in. That's good. Then moving around at the speed of sound. No, I did really good though. That's just not fair. Okay. Here. Oh, whoop, whoop, missed that. That's fine. Whoop, and went down, went down. Up and down. And here's. Okay, so I need to be in the middle for that first mm -hmm. jump. Yeah, I think just falling out there is probably better. Whew. I can't even pause right now. It's like, no, you're finishing this game or you're quitting. Okay. That was not worth it. I'm gonna fall again. I need to not hit two things initially. I need to go be down, first of all. Okay, that's fine. Mmm, we're not doing super hot. We have to, like, do this pretty cleanly in order to win. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get multiples of here. We're getting closer. We are improving. We just need to keep cleaning up the start, because the start's rough. That's a bit of a trap there. Okay. I need to just fall, because I'm not doing super well. I keep it getting hit, and it's just not good. Cool. So here, and then this jump here. I'm not getting 40 in these last couple seconds, that's just not happening. So we need to, I really do need to get both of those 10 pips. That's just... That's just how it has to be. Mm. Nope. Getting across is not worth it. Here. This two. This two here. And I guess faster. Jump here. Oh, I shoot. Jumped over that. That would have been 90, which would not have been enough, so it's fine that we missed that. <sighs> if you believe in the me who believes in the you, I'm gonna stop doing that. Shoot, 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 shoot. I, I need to just let myself fall off. Just fall off. Do I have anything to sit right now? You can go a long way. Okay, just took a sip. Let's let's do this better. I'm just gonna try and stick to the bottom right now and see if that helps improve. Because I keep trying to cross over. And I think that's causing part of the problem is I'm trying to do that crossover. So I think I'm gonna just get myself to stay at the lower spot. Well, I forgot about that. Tricks at the very end there. We can improve. We can improve. Okay. It's not gonna be enough, but it's better than nothing. Okay. I just have to keep remembering if there's that trick at the very end of that string of rings. Yes! 
thank God. <laughs> Please tell me that was it. No, no, no. No. Uh, I'll grab the Flicky. Hi, Flicky. Oh. He got him. It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah. Kaboom, baby. Oh, everyone's dead. Rest in pieces. Oh, there she goes. Oh. He caught her. Yeah. We did it. The train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. <sighs> oh. I... I just... Couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. Aww. He just loved- he loved the conductor. I didn't want to see him go by. I think her work here is done. Let's get off this thing. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the trails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. He's just sad. He's just a poor man. He's a poor guy. Oh, that got crunched. Whoopsie. Oh. Oh, look at the little guy. Wow, that train got fucked up. We did it. Well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step. Watch your step. It, it, it's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we'll just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually gonna miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. Oh, <laughs> is that his wife? She's so cute. Oh, <laughs> you'd honestly never believe what happened. So I don't even try. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spatagonia in the morning. You need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation something terrible. Yay! We did. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything, but yeah, milk. Milf indeed. We stand. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor is more ready than the honest retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh. Oh, who's this? It's a little bird. <laughs> An old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of that bird's design. <laughs> Don't say it, lol. Seems that fin seems that Flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, Espo. E is Espo or Espio? I think it's Espio. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be. You were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool. Now that we're all safe, it was fun. This girl was a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. With all the clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. So I guess no one licked the, the cashews and put them back. I guess that's a relief. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? The station has a bakery. And look what I bought. 
Ooh, that's pretty. <gasps> a birthday cake. Aww. That's so cute. Happy birthday, Amy. To the confident, unshakable, radiant Amy Rose. Oh, that's so cute. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable birth party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger with each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your v v v v May you never lose your viv vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personality. Happy birthday! I'm not smart enough to know if a personality is if if personality is a word. Oh, personacity. That's close enough. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, uh, oh, you guys. We almost got murdered by a lonely car, but... But... I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys will never leave me, right? I wouldn't dream of it. Now let's get some cake. Yeah, please dig in, everyone. Yay! I hope it's chocolate. It's got fruit on it, bud. It's not chocolate. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why did they have the little shirts? What is this? Oh no! <laughs> oh, buddy! That train's never making it here, is it? Oh, oh! They were so excited to celebrate! Oh, I need to take a screenshot on my end. That's so cute. Oh, Robot, prepare a bath. The happy rubber duck or the angry one? Angry! <laughs> Look at these little ducks! Look at them! <laughs> He's just a little guy. Oh, Yeah, their shirt said, let's go, Dad. That's so cute the little flag that Metal Sonic is holding. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Sour choice, your evilness. Shut it. Oh. This is so cute. And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends, entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, and then back to thing as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. And as for me, I... <laughs> I quit the job. I stuck with the gig. I need the money. And then... <laughs> Won millions in lottery. Now I practice singing. And after all that, I... Managed to fly to space. I don't remember the Kazooka market. Yeah. That's just been my life. Yeah. Uh, that was so fun. That was so friggin' fun. That's, like, the fact that Sega put that together and put it out for free. Like, fantastic. This was such a, a wonderful, cute little project. Aw, thank you for the clappies. This is, I think, technically, this is the very first Sonic game I've ever, like, properly played and finished. Granted, this isn't the usual Sonic experience, but this was incredibly cute and incredibly fun. And thank you all for sticking around with me while I played through it. Uh, definitely a longer stream today, uh, but I don't have to get up early tomorrow, so I'm okay with doing a little extra streaming. But I think I'm actually going to wrap up right now because I am hungry and I need to eat dinner. Uh, but thank you all for sticking around. Uh, I hope you had a fun time watching this game. Uh, let me see if there's anyone streaming right now I can raid. Because I, uh, I'm a, I'm hungry. Uh, I might not raid because I'm a little tired. Uh, and I don't want to jump in and immediately bounce out. Um, oh, Fun Dip is streaming. I'll actually, I'll, I'll raid him. Uh, he's playing Kingdom Hearts right now. Uh, where is he on my... 
raid thing. Oh, his name is so long, and I always have to make sure I spell it correctly. All right. So we are going to be reading Fund It. I want you all to be on your best behavior. But thank you again, everybody, for sticking around for the whole stream. I hope you all had a great time. And I hope you all have a great rest of your week. And thank you all for hanging out. Uh, fingers crossed that maybe we've hit uh, affiliate after this stream. But I will definitely be posting, at least tomorrow on Twitter, how things are going. But again, have a great night. And I'll chat with you guys later. Bye-bye.